We are going to talk about Saturday. You left him hanging. How we got rained out. to touch. But yet we still had fun in the rain. It was fun. Like, it was fun. It was, it was, was disappointing that it rained. I mean, that was, that was a bummer. As somebody once said, I hear laughter in the rain. Yeah. But I, I thought I loved, we were talking about your weather forecast throughout the morning. Yeah. The, you know, there's going to be a window from 10 to 1030, and then the window moved to We end. had the 710 Doppler out. And, and we I, checked the radar, and it looks like 11 o'clock. We're all yeah. clear. It did, it did clear up 15 you, minutes later. Then you ran a squeegee. <laughs> uh, you know what? It did clear up right, right after, after it was canceled. Do you yeah. know why I did the squeegee bit? No. Because people like John, shocking, and uh, we're, we're just going to leave. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going to play. The only reason we said that to everybody was so we could get everybody together to yeah. sing happy birthday to yeah, you. Yeah, that was very nice. Did you like that? I love that. I love that. No, it's, it, honestly, I I hate to use that hashtag blessed thing, but I felt it when uh, everybody blessed? was singing hashtag blessed. Well, good. Happy yeah, Monday. it was nice. Happy, hashtag blessed that there's Monday. another day of Mason in Ireland. The biggest show on the radio for your Monday afternoon, Mason in Ireland, right now. Ah! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mason. So uh, it was a great birthday weekend. Was it? I awesome. had a really nice time. Now, yeah. David Singer posted a photo. <laughs> yes, he did. Dave Singer? Dave Singer? Yeah, Dave oh Singer went to dinner with us on oh, Saturday so there, night. Oh, so there yes. was a dinner. Just a small. I, Thanks for the invite. Wow. So we didn't get it. Nobody from the radio station, Nobody. as far as I know, got invited. It wasn't a big party. It was but just I've been an invited dinner. in years past. So has Corporate Gray. You, so you, you I, both yeah. have been to my party. I didn't yes. even know there was one. Wow. This is kind of upsetting. It though. was very small dinner. and I, But David Singer was there. And I figured there was no chance you guys coming from Sop and Wet Pickleball were want to go to dinner in the marina on Why Saturday. Why did you ask? Because I, I wanted to keep it small. Was Sue Kowinski at the dinner? No, Sue was not. This was she, awesome. Sue Kowinski invited? <laughs> no, she was not. Was just you, Juan, Dave, and his wife? And uh, my mom and not stepdad Leo and my brother and his boyfriend. Okay, so there's eight. Yeah. What about Coach Dave Miller? Was he at the dinner? Coach Dave Miller was not at the dinner. How about Steve Hartman? (sighs) Why do you bring up Steve? (laughs) Did you invite Cappy? The day I did not invite Cappy or Rachel. Rachel. No, I did not. I didn't invite anybody. Look, we did disappointing. We did make a big determination. Wow. That uh, my 60th birthday, which is next year, right. Is going to be a gigantic blowout party at my house. Okay. Everybody. Everybody for my 60th. Can we, can, can Corporate Greg and I scan the guest list? Because knowing you, you're going to invite just a few people that might stab us. There uh, are there's going to be a few people, may, more than a few. Who may stab you? I could go through the list. But I mean, I invite okay. people from like former regimes. Yeah. Good no. people. Like our long lost engineer, Tim Ahern. Well, I'm fine with who Tim. Who we keep waiting to walk in here and fix stuff. Like, Brian's microphone. Well, I think that got fixed. It's possible it got fixed. Smack that mic. No, no, don't now, smack don't it now. Oh, I sound beautiful. It's working. Working. Very nice. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I thought I thought it was great. I was disappointed for every, everybody here worked so hard on these events, and we had so many cool sponsors, partners that were out there. You know, like I, Culture Pop Soda was out there, which I totally dig. It's right. got the probiotic. Uh, Hoffies was there. Who else was there? Uh, Our friends from Subaru. Our Pizza friends Hut. From Pizza Hut. Islands Restaurants, Valvoline Instant Oil Change, Children's Dental Fun Zone. Yeah, we, we it, all those folks were, I was bummed for them, but they... You know, everybody made it around and saw all that stuff, and it was it was great. And we move on to our next big signature event, which is the Mandy's. Yes, but for, before then, we're going to have MLB opening day on Thursday live from Clearman's Galley in San Gabriel. Thanks to our friends at Corona, uh, or Corona Extra. By the way, that'll start Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Mason in Ireland, although it'll be Mason in whom? DeMarco. Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me Absolutely. and DeMarco on Thursday, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing Game of Games that day, right? Now, this year, yes. yeah, we yeah. encourage, Corporate Greg and I encourage, that you have martinis before Absolutely the show. Absolutely, like, I want four. Not. This time. there's not going to be any. You will not just be one. reprimanded like last time. How about just one? We just will one. celebrate it. Then I drink four martinis. No, right. we'll celebrate it. Yeah, I don't. Have, we oh, don't have an issue. On. Greatest show that. ever. If there you're will on be a celebration. <laughs> Greatest. Show you will not ever. be reprimanded like years past. You will be celebrated and encouraged. What is it? Just Mason gets drunk on opening day. Is that, that would like be the, fun? The I think it's a great bit. Come it on. really is. That would be awesome on opening day. Please do that. Oh look, everybody's like, oh yeah, yeah. Please do that. That was a great show. Yeah. I don't that, think I've ever seen you drunk. Uh, oh, yeah, you I'm, will on Thursday. I'm, I will. I'm a, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm dying a, to see this. I'm a sloppy drunk. And I, you didn't I know that see this. Clearman's Galley in San Gabriel made a stiff martini. We didn't know until that day. You challenged me to that third one. I, I was fine at two, and no, then Morales is like, really blaming oh, you. yeah, show me something. Yeah. I had never Drink had a dirty a martini before in my life, and Mace goes, hey. How hard did you have to prod him? Not that hard. Not that hard. He prodded me. He prodded you. Oh, the plot thickens. Yeah, I got uh, I got reprimanded badly on that. You one. don't need you will not be reprimanded for get this. Get out of here. No. Bergman, will I be reprimanded? Not you can get Sam Pines on the phone and he'll tell you you won't be reprimanded. We'll put it really? on the air right now. Really? Yeah. You'll be fine. 
Get get four, five. Do what you got to well, do. I need a, Just I don't need pass out and th- don't curse. I yes. need an Uber. I won't curse. Don't pass out. This yes. is a hall pass. Take it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, this is what you do. Thursday it is. Yes. We'll put a trash can next to you. No, it's, I, I, <laughs> look, I'm, I can handle three martinis. I can handle three martinis. Clearly. You can no, handle three martinis. No, you, <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Come have a two-finger lunch with Mace. I just, <laughs> I just remember saying to uh, Ireland and Bergman, wait a minute. This, this is my this show. This is my too. show. Technically, and, you know who was making a big deal out of it. You know who. Behind the scenes. You uh, know who. Behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. Who is I- ramping up people. Ireland? Uh-huh. Uh, I, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I well, he's not going to be there on Thursday. Yeah, and DeMarco, he'll carry home. If you have to, he's a big guy. Oh yeah, he'll be on his way to. Why Indiana. is John ramping this up? Like, because that's John to get no, him he hammered got, or to no, keep he got, him sober. No, he got pissed off that I did get hammered. Yeah. Oh, he got mad. Yeah. This is why we shouldn't mad. do remotes. Yeah, this is why. Because Mason gets hammered. Mason gets drunk. Just you know, like he started on Saturday at nine forty-five. I mean, I just I think we should just go somewhere else. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> wow. He, he and Lisa were ready to go. I, well, so were a hundred other players. Yeah, yeah, they were ready to go. I didn't bring the rain. It wasn't my fault. We went for fuck. I know you guys were nice. falling all over. Yeah, yeah, we we went to Fa, uh, yeah. which was good. Did you, yeah. Was that your first time Hot with soup? Fa? No, I love I love the Fa. There was only one person that really did not want to be there. I felt like Ireland wanted to be there, wanted to play. He was practicing a lot. Right. Yeah. There's only one person. Who? The big C Y. He did not want to be at that event whatsoever. But then later on, we actually brokered peace at Islands. Oh, good. Yeah, why was we, he so snotty? I don't know. He was yeah. just did oh, not want to be. Oh, you fun agree? With he us. was snotty. A little bit. I oh, mean, really? I, I thought something had happened. Yeah, he walked up and he he wasn't in the greatest. Of I know moves. that he likes Greg. I, is that what it is? We fought a lot on the Blue Review last year. Here's oh. a, but here's the thing. <laughs> I thought it was. you okay. guys worked really hard to get ready for this, and then yeah. you couldn't play. You played a lot. I did. CY played a lot. You guys I don't played know if together a lot. Played a lot. Didn't you play together? No. No, not once. And he came in. And he's like, I'm so not going to try hard. So when did this grudge against Cy start? I don't. I love Cy. I don't think the love is mutual. That must have happened right before I saw him, because I, I think I got the aftermath. Like, what did I do? Like, why are you upset? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, hello. Yeah, yeah we I, were wasting his time. Is that what he said? <laughs> Wow. Wow. This is going to come back. Oh, yeah. I was going to apologize to him today. I thought I did something. Oh, it wasn't me. What was the the peace brokerage? I didn't hear about it. Well, you know, he's, well, here's the thing. He wanted to talk about content. Yeah. In the sense, hold on. Yeah. I'm I'm not, I'm not not like you're thinking. Chiming in. I actually said to him, now I was a couple cocktails deep at this point. But I said, hey, I know you're doing the daily. I know you guys are talking a lot about the Shohei stuff. There could be a play here. Like, if you guys are doing deep journalism on it and this continues to break out, we might mm-hmm. want to play some of the daily on the air and stuff. Yeah, oh, right. And he said, in partnership, though, could we put the daily on the ESPN LA app? I said, sure, why not? It's a, it's our product. It's a GKV product now that right. we have the podcast as well. Sure. So so now there's going to be a button or a tile that you can press and well, hear now, the daily? Well, now, though, but now that I hear about this corporate grade, I didn't realize it was as deep with corporate grade. It got very grudgy, very fast. It's not that deep. So no, now well, because you he, wouldn't stop. He was complaining at one point, and he's like, and I was like, hey, why stop complaining? He goes, oh, just stop it, just stop it, just stop it. And I said, And no, then, by the way, stop. our friend at, like, the Pickleball Review, what was that gentleman's name? Oh, oh I've seen oh, nice guy. Great guy. I was I practicing with him guy. for a little Randall, bit. Randall. Yeah, Randall. Yeah. Yeah. He just dropped the video, which we didn't even know this video existed. Of Lindsay and Clinton last year, full blown fight because Clinton dropped Lindsay. And that is all over social right now. And is it really? And it's actually, it's like weird camera angles that were, it's almost like secret camera. It was, a, it was well shot. If Lindsay you will. and Clinton were in a full blown this fight. This was at Pike Ball One because yeah. Clint, Lindsay was running late or something. So Clinton chose a ringer, picked up a partner. And producer Lindsay didn't like that. So wow. there is video now, the Pike Ball Review guy. Has un uh, That's I unearthed this. video from last year. The See, Lindsay and me were prepared to lose. Yeah, nobody saw that being really. No, that was that was not for debate. We were going to lose in the first round, and then we're going to lose. But in the then first you round posted the... video with him and a photo on social from Fa. That's right. Did yeah. you see the picture of Momo from Fa? Yeah. Oh yeah, Momo was there. Clinton was in Fa. Oh, he was in. Fa? He went to the Fa. Well, I think he started the Fa. It was his idea. <laughs> the pho was his idea. He let's decided, pho. let's go to pho. And so yeah. we're like, okay, let's go to pho, some hot soup on a rainy day. That was a very good idea. Yeah. So, and then apparently this fight broke out between Clinton Yates and Greg Bergman. And what do we got, an hour, about. 15 minutes until Shohei speaks? Yes, we do. Uh, and we're going to actually we're going to talk to Fabian Ardaya coming up from uh, from the athletic from the athletic. Right. Yes. From the athletic. And see uh, 145 and, and pick his brain a little bit and see what we might expect. I have a feeling. Well, I'll tell you what I expect to hear. Okay, coming up uh, coming up next. In the meantime, hey, if you are riding in the back seat 
and you're injured in an Uber or a Lyft accident, it is completely different than a normal car wreck. Your driver is covered by Uber or Lyft, so not only are you dealing with the other person's insurance, you got to talk with the rideshare company's insurance as well. You don't wait to deal with this on your own. You need an expert, and my friend Jacob is the expert when it comes to handling Uber and Lyft cases. Years ago, he took on these cases before any other attorneys. He understands all the nuances involved in this kind of accident. So if you're injured in any kind of rideshare accident, only one name to remember. It is Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. A lot of attorneys say they'll fight for you. Call Jacob. He'll win for you. 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. 844-24-JACOB. Or remember... Accident or injury. Call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. And make sure you're following Call Jacob on Instagram and Facebook for prizes, insight, and more. Tomorrow, final day to submit a chance to win tickets for the upcoming LAFC match against the Galaxy. Go to at call.jacob. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. Continues now. All right, so the big story of the day is going to be what's taking place at Dodger Stadium right now. Mason and Ireland show DeMarco is in for uh, John today, who's on his way to Milwaukee for the uh, Lakers tomorrow. Lakers have won five out of seven. Uh, they're still scoring from last night. They're still scoring? Still scoring. <laughs> it's 235 to 230 right they now. They did hold. By the way, I had the under uncut. 
<laughs> wow. the under in that game. It bad, was gone by the bet. end of the third quarter. <laughs> Terrible bet. Wow. They almost beat it by themselves. Yes, they did. Unreal. Alone. So, uh, yeah, today Shohei Otani is expected to make a statement at Dodger Stadium. I'm seeing pictures now from Dodger Stadium. It's trending on, the, on Twitter. And the lines to get in. Uh, to this statement, which he's going to make a 245 show, hey, uh, tremendous lines. Uh, and people are tweeting, just another day at Dodger Stadium. Huge, Huge It lines. is going to be packed. I've been getting calls from, like, all over the place. CNN called me, hey, can you talk about show, hey? Yeah. News Nation called me, uh, Channel 11 called Everybody wants to know about this story. This story now transcends sports. It becomes about something much more than sports. The most famous athlete in the world, arguably, is involved in a gambling scandal. I, that's why I asked you, like, what do you want to hear from Otani today? Like, what do you need to hear? Do you think he did it? Do you think he didn't do it? Do you think he's going to be suspended? I mean, what do you want to hear from this guy today? I want to hear Ipe embezzled money. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that Ipe, the translator, Mazahara, right? Yep. Mazahara. Um, had access to Shohei's banking accounts and wired money to cover his own debts without Shohei knowing. Uh, and now Shohei is pressing charges against Ipe for stealing that money. Basically, I got robbed. I got robbed. This guy robbed me. That is exactly what's going to happen because that was what the statement said that when the PR firm put out a statement on Thursday, that's exactly what he's going to read now. It's going to be the same as pretty much. So you think he's going to say nothing additional? No, I don't think he's going to add anything. He's going to say that this was uh, my former interpreter stole money from me up to, as as far as I know, $4.5 million for right now. He's, it was a massive theft. I was, he stole from me and I can no longer, I can't talk any further on it. Otherwise, according to, according to my lawyers. Right. And there's investigations going on, ongoing investigations. I can't, I can say nothing. Who is investigating baseball or baseball and the feds? I mean, baseball doesn't want to find this guy guilty, right? Baseball will do any, this is the thing. Yeah. Rob Manfred will do anything he can to protect show to make this go away. He's the golden goose, right? Right. This is the guy that's got all the eyeballs, uh, stardom worldwide. I think baseball will find a way to protect him here, by the way. And I, am I the only one that actually believes the story? I believe it. That Ipe Mazahara embezzled money from Shohei. I think there's two options. It's either Ipe stole money for him or Otani was betting and had Ipe do it for him. Those are the, are my only two options. It's black and white to me. And my gut, and I don't want it to be true, is that it was the other way around because none of the story makes sense. Wait, which way around? To, it's it's uh, you Shohei, Shohei some, was, you think, was oh. working with Ipe in some form or fashion. Uh. I, I hate that, and I don't want it to be true, but my that's what my gut says. Yeah. It, there's too many inconsistencies in the story all the way through to be able to say, like, no, yeah, no, no, he's completely innocent. It just, it, when there's smoke, there's fire. Does it right? not mean that, I mean... He's pressing charges against Ipe for stealing the money. If that didn't happen, wouldn't he run the risk of making a false accusation? Well, so originally he wasn't until Ipe actually talked about it. And Ipe was saying, yeah, me and Shohei sat down at a computer together and did this together. And then it all of a sudden got turned around. And within the span of two hours, the story changed three times. Well, it sounds like the guy that was doing the stealing, doing the robbing is lying. Well, and he is, he is, a, he is a liar. I mean, yeah. he did not go to UC Riverside, apparently. Right. He said he went to UC Riverside. UC Riverside has no record of him being Yeah, a, so what, why he's like an invented the, person. The Red Sox thing, too. There was, like, on his bio that, like, worked with the Red Sox, but they've come out and said no. No, he never worked with them. That's, yeah. crazy. That's why, crazy. Why wouldn't you believe Shohei? It's not that I don't believe him. It's just that— It sounds like it. Well, no, because uh, tra- I'm going to take this from Travis. He used it as—he said it's Occam's Razor, whatever was supposed the, to— Yeah, Fred. Occam's Razor is the— uh, the most obvious answer is the right one. And the yeah. most obvious answer is that they were working together in some form or fashion. See, I, I don't think that's the most obvious It's not all-encompassing. Because yeah. th- it just doesn't make sense. Why do you not have some—you have this much money, this many endorsements, a bunch of money, the, everything that you do. You don't have a financial advisor that's like, hey, $500,000 just went out of your account. Okay, okay. wait. I have a question. Yeah, How now, much, now, Jamarco, okay, before the yeah. show, you were talking about guys that got robbed. Oh, Baker Mayfield got robbed by his own family. This happens. I had My best friend robbed me. He, he took my checkbook. And and wrote some checks and didn't tell me. And really? Told me later. Yeah, it just it made me mad. But like, dude, all you had to do was ask. Right. But he was embarrassed. So I understand how this happens. But I was going to ask Greg, how much do you think about money every day? 
I think about it all the time. Okay, I, I don't have much of it. I bet Shohei doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I agree. You're again. saying because he has so much, he would notice. No, I say because he him. has so much, he wouldn't notice. I'm it's correct. Not that he, I'm with Mason. I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you both on this. It, he will not notice. But somebody within his camp would notice. His, a financial advisor, somebody that looks over his. You money. don't think that's what happened? No. You no. don't think somebody called? This has been happening over what four or five years. This is a four or two years or whatever it happens. To yeah, me. I don't know the length. It's four point five but... million dollars over a span of two years. So it's not. It wasn't four point five at one specific time. It went over, and there was multiple five hundred thousand uh, dollar transfers that happened. Yeah, to I... get a five hundred thousand dollar transfer, something something has to be seen. There's no way that Shohei or Shohei's people don't say, "Hey, why is five hundred thousand dollars missing?" Well, yeah, we're going to find I mean, he's going to make a statement. We're going to talk to Fabian. Fabian Ardaya. Sounds like this guy's a good liar. <laughs> which, oh, which is, yeah. I want to believe Shohei, by the way. Yeah. I want to. I, I do, too. I do believe Shohei. I well, do, too. we'll see what he says yeah. today. We got an, just over an yeah. hour. Okay, we'll talk to uh, Fabian Ardaya from The Athletic next and get you latest on that. Uh, Two o'clock call of the day is coming up. DeMarco is filling in for John. I got a whole bunch of weird stuff to throw at you. Uh, make sure you're ready for that, DeMarco. Um, and in the meantime, let me tell you about Hyundai, Southern California Hyundai dealers. So first thing I did when I partnered with the Southern California Hyundai dealers is I started driving a Hyundai. I ended up in a uh, an Elantra hybrid that I absolutely love, gets 50 miles a gallon. Um, blown away by the savings, uh, especially with gas over five bucks. And you know what's really cool is the Hyundai Ionic 6. They let me try this out for a week. Spectacular. It's an EV with a long driving range and cutting edge technology. It looks like a crazy cool sports car. And don't forget the sharp design of the Sonata and the Santa Fe. If you want to go with an SUV this spring, you can get in and get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. As always, every new Hyundai comes with America's best warranty and three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. So hurry in today because these great deals will not last. Add more joy to every journey at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event going on now. Visit buyhyundai.com or see your SoCal Hyundai dealer today. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. You never have to miss... Hi, Parker. What's up, Greg? Hi, Parker. What's up? Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto's here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say, 9.30, 9.55? Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant. Travis Rogers, perhaps? Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX.
now. None at all. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Well, Dodger Stadium is packed with reporters right now, getting ready for Shohei Otani to make a statement about what went down with his translator and $4.5 million that was wired to an illegal gambling operation. And one of the reporters that is over there right now from The Athletic, Fabian Ardaya, joins us. Fabian, thanks a lot for coming on, man. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm good. Uh, just me with my closest 200 friends. Yeah, so 200 what, friends? Describe, describe the scene out there right now. I mean, I, obviously, there's a lot of people here, a lot of attention here, a lot of Japanese reporters mm-hmm. in town, a lot of American reporters in town. Obviously, it's a well-anticipated statement for sure. So what? Uh, let, let's go back to the very beginning of this. How did you first find out that this story was breaking, and what was your initial impression of it? Well, first I was trying to wake up. Uh, my editor called me. It was like 6.30 in the morning and told, uh, sort of let me know that the news story was coming out on uh, from the LA Times and from ESPN. Uh, so basically my whole morning was spent just trying to get caught up on what happened, what was going on, and trying to figure out what we know. And what we know is still basically what we know now, which is not much. So is why did the story change? In other words, at, at the beginning of this thing, Ipe, this is my understanding, apologized to the team. Uh, and said he had a bad gambling problem, and the, he lost a lot of money. He was in a hole. Then he did an interview, like a 90-minute sit-down with ESPN, where he said Shohei was in on helping him cover the debts, and then the whole story changed, and Shohei accused Ipe of stealing the money. Um, when you hear that timeline, uh, what does it suggest? Uh, it suggests, like, they, they, I think they still have to provide some clarity on what actually happened. I think... The crux of what they said changed the story was Shohei's understanding of what happened. Uh, so obviously we'll be able to hear from Shohei today. Hopefully during his statement he's able to bring some clarity as to what he knew and when. Because uh, obviously that's a pretty big difference between, oh, I, I'm giving the money to help a friend and, oh, the friend stole from me. So I think that's the biggest thing that we have to clarify here, along with obviously making sure that he didn't place any bets, making sure that no bets, whether from Ipe, Mizahara, or from Shohei, were placed on baseball. I think those are the biggest things that have to be answered today. I hope that's all a no. And I, I'm trying to understand the gravity. I know if, if you find out he did, he is ruined. But how does this affect baseball? If What did you say, Mason, the, the biggest global superstar? Yeah, biggest global superstar in sports right now. And sports. And it turns out to be gambling. How damaging is that to the sport of baseball? Yeah, I think obviously there are important distinctions there. Like if he, if Shohei Otani did place bets but not on baseball, I feel like that's a different line than if Ipe Mitsuhara or Shohei Otani placed bets on baseball. I think that's the biggest thing. And from there, obviously, what was done and where and how. Obviously, placing books through an illegal bookmaker, bets through an illegal bookmaker is illegal, uh, violates the MLB rule, whether it's for Ipe Mitsuhara or for Shohei Otani. But obviously, players are allowed to bet on other sports through legal channels. Yeah, through legal channels, right? Exactly. So, as as you look at what what do you expect his statement to be today, or is it just it it, it could be anything? I think it could be anything. I, honestly, I think the expectation is just considering the fact that there, he's under investigation. Uh, the IRS is looking into the situation for Matthew Boyer and Ipe Musahara. The DOJ is looking into it, and obviously now MLB is starting its investigation. I don't expect him to say too much uh, or at least be very guarded with what he can say legally. But, yeah, it's important that he's at least addressing this in some form or fashion because he hasn't done that since this all came out. You know what I hope he says? Oh, go ahead. I should have stayed an angel. That's what I hope he says. Yeah. (laughs) I shouldn't have come. Yeah, it is weird. I shouldn't have become a Dodger. (laughs) He becomes a Dodger, takes one foot into the spotlight, and now it's all on fire. It really – I mean, he was really left alone when he was in Anaheim, right? I mean, yeah, I, I, although it's important to note that the, the wire transfers ha- did happen in September and October last year when he was an angel. Hmm. Uh, I think this was going to come out regardless. Uh, it was going to come out regardless just because of the connection to Matthew Boyer and obviously reporters and DOG had some idea that these transfers have been made for a little while here. Uh, so I think that's the big thing that and probably would happen regardless. But obviously – it's not ideal for the Dodgers to have your seven hundred million dollar man app, like literally the day after he makes his debut with the team have this come out. If in fact Ipe stole this money, which is the contention I think from the Otani side, why hasn't uh Mizahara been arrested for embezzlement? 
Uh, I think the important thing is obviously there has to be a case in place, something for them to be able to file charges before there's any arrest made. He is under investigation from the IRS and the DOJ, and uh, Otani's party has said they're going to make a claim, but they haven't specified where or whether they're going to file a report to. So I think that's stuff that we're still really unclear on. But yeah, I think the they, I'm sure part of it is wanting to make sure that you build a case before you bring the guy in. My understanding is he's going to make a statement today and not take questions. Is that is that what your understanding is? Yes, that's what I was told, yeah. Um, all right, it will be interesting. Do you think it'll be on camera, or is it just going to be in a scrum? Uh, there is going to be a camera on it. I believe it's going to be on SNLA and on LB Network. Okay, we will keep an eye on it. Fabian, thanks a lot for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Of course, thanks for having me. All right, there's Fabian Ardaya from The Athletic. 200 people. 200 people are there for this thing. Yeah, and you think about it, the... The number of reporters, because it is Otani, has increased exponentially uh, because you've got the Japanese media, you've got the world media, you've got the news media, you've got everybody collecting there. Yeah. Um, so it's not just daily beat reporters right now. It's it is the like world. the world wants wow. to know what's going on. What did I just read? That, that the Dodgers are going to Japan next year? Yeah, or? going to Japan is the word next year. I you See, I don't think... Shohei gets misses one game because of this. The other guy is going to jail. At yeah. the end of this, he winds up behind bars. But Shohei will just skate by. He is too important to be wrapped into this. That's why you almost have to believe his story. That's mo that's the most likely scenario. Of what's going to happen? That Shohei is going to have nothing happen, and then EPA will go to jail, and they'll and he won't miss anything. But if for some reason it comes out that he did give money to this bookmaker, then he will be suspended. He will be fined. You'll there find will... that out 20 years from now in illegal. a 30 for 30. Yeah, it, no it will take, it'll take time. Yeah, yeah, it'll, no it'll, doubt. it'll definitely take some time. So I got a birthday gift from a guy named Adam Martell, um, at Adam Martell 12 on X, formerly known as Twitter. He wrote that out. Nice. We, lo we love that <laughs> what phrase. What a jerk. He's a Adam, Martell. Adam Martell. Adam yeah. Martell. <laughs> Uh, it says, happy birthday, Mace, from a 30-year listener who knows what significance oscillating holds. Now, he sent me a T-shirt that says, go oscillating. That's cool. Now, do you, you don't know why. No. Okay. I, it's just you have to have that made. That's that's from love there. Correct. Yeah, that's, now, yeah. he, here's where he got oscillating and what the importance of it is. Oh, hang on one second. This was the Olympics, 2002. Back to third. Jim Shea of the United States oscillating too much in these turns. Jim Shea of the United States back into second, trailing by only one one hundredth of a second through turn number 15. Jim Shea, can he pick up enough speed? Yes, he does. 5107. Jim Shea of the United States was ragged, but he has won the gold medal in the men's skeleton. His father is celebrating. So oscillating. 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 He's oscillating worth. in the corner. And I totally <laughs> made it up. Like, that's the thing. They said, you're going to do bobsled and luge and skeleton. And I was like, I don't know. I guess they're going to. No, but it's not like you're going to be like the guy or imitate the guy. There was no guy. So yeah. I just made up terms. I. Like, I counted the turns. I said, that's turn 11. That's And then I named one the Olympic turn. Um, <laughs> you made that up? You were just that up. having fun. Yeah, right. he was, uh, when he went wow. right across the... And then oscillating was when the, the yeah. sled or loser go like that, and you lose time. Move so or swing know? back and forth at a regular speed. There you go. Oscillating in the corner. I like that. And I love that Adam Martell knows the significance of oscillating. Way to go. Really That's awesome. So I was uh, talking to the guys from uh, Culture Pop, you know, Culture Pop Podcast, Culture yeah. Pop Soda. I was talking to them on Saturday. And uh, the guy, the very first thing, his name is Chris Salati. First thing the guy said to me was, how, uh, how are Sophie, Ron, and Veronica? I'm like, wow, this guy is a hardcore listener. Wow. Didn't walk up and ask. How, what about the Lakers? He said, how are you, your dogs and knew them by name? Wow. Yeah, great. Have Say you hello to him. He's listening now then. Yeah, hey, yeah. Chris, what's up, go. man? Have you heard, do you know what Culture Pop Soda is? That was the white tent, right? Yeah. And was the there was a very tall woman in there. Who yeah. was that? It was an Olympic gold medalist. I'm trying to, her name is Alex. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Okay. Yeah. Volleyball, I'm assuming. Basketball. Vo yeah, she's very tall. Yeah. So Culture Pop Soda, yeah, yeah. you know what this does? What? It's got uh, oh the probiotics. probiotics yes. In it. Yeah. yes, 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 yes. So it's like a healthy soda. Oh, you have another one? Let me have one. Nah, you can I, have this one. I need, I need that. Yeah, one. I had Thank one this morning much. already. Oh, nice. I don't want to drink too many. Yeah, see. 
We're of that age now. Exactly. We have to worry about that exactly. stuff. Exactly. Uh, all right, so reminder uh, that opening day, we are live. Baseball opening day is this week. Can you believe it? Shocking. Here we go. Yes. Uh, you can join Travis and Sliwa and me along with DeMarco in for Ireland this Thursday for our annual MLB opening day party and live broadcast at Clearman's Galley in San Gabriel from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Special thanks to Corona Extra for making it possible. Corona Extra, the official cerveza of La Vida Mas Fina. Find the fine life. We'll see you in. Uh, we'll see you on Thursday. Clearman's Galley, 7215 Rosemead Boulevard in S- San Gabriel. These guys are goading me to get drunk. Goading. Just do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do I it. just want to see do what it. happens. I want to see so you I. drunk. I really do. I'm here for the good time. Come Big on. time. Oh, well, <laughs> I want to see you get yeah, hammered. Get, get loaded. Yeah. Get loaded. Get loose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. What's the sloppiest you've ever been? Oh, my God. Where were you? Were you in? I was at Bowling Green State University. Bowling, oh, sure. you were in college. Oh, God. Okay, that's that's different. I drank so much in college, I can't even believe it. Di- I'm I talking adult life. Adult life where you know. Adult like, life. You, you know where your limits are and you passed them anyway. Mm, I, I t- it probably comes in the category of crossfading. Okay. Uh, where I, I, you, you get a little stoned on yeah. the gummies, then you drink a little bit. You know, so you got a, a little uh, 10 milligram number uh, with some THC, and then you get um, uh, old fashioned. And were you, you in the states, and... or you were you someplace oh, else, no, like I, Amsterdam? I'm I'm scared of of partying too much when I was overseas. Abroad? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. You gotta, be, you gotta be careful. I traveled by myself a lot. You have to be careful. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be smart. You gotta be careful. Okay. Um, and I traveled some pretty dicey places. Okay, well, if you want to see stuff, you got to go yeah. to dicey areas. Like, but, I went, I went yeah. to Cairo and saw the pyramids. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, the, it was nonstop scam. Really? Everybody was scamming me the entire time I was in Egypt. I'll take you here, I'll take you there. Correct. Yeah. I will take you to the middle of the pyramid, and uh, your eye, third eye will open, all this kind of stuff. So here's this summarizes my trip to Egypt. So I, I'm at the airport in Cairo, and I'm on the can. And I realize, what, there's no toilet paper <laughs> and i hear a knock on the door my good american friend would you like to buy some toilet paper oh my god like, oh my god i've got to buy toilet paper Wait at the minute. airport that's a pretty good idea sure yeah, yeah run that rock scam. that here, rock that here. Run yeah. that scam. all right so it's uh what bergman do you want to do t- uh wheel of questions since we didn't do it there instead of two o'clock holiday Okay, well, I, I thought maybe we might get a good call because of the Ipe uh, Shohei sure. stuff, but let's if you do want... both, let's do both. Okay, we'll Greg do both. is still mad you didn't invite him to dinner. So, I am still yeah, mad. He's very angry. Him to dinner. It was and a Morales very small be mad dinner. too. Yeah, you guys would have been included had it been I've, a larger dinner. I've worked with you for eight years. Yeah, had it been eight. a larger dinner. <laughs> had it been what, went last year? Yeah, you know, I was talking to Singer before, about this. So really, before. the first. 10 years at ESPN, Singer was the producer. Yeah. And the next 10 years, for all intents and purposes, Bergman. Yeah. Singer producer. means more to him than you do. So I, know what he's, I know he does. We've had two significant producers during our run here, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry I neglected one of them. Only one Only gets one to go to your birthday Gets dinner. to go to dinner, exactly. All right, so 2 o'clock <laughs> all the day. Here we go. What do you think really happened? I am of the belief that Ipe Mazahara embezzled $4.5 million from Shohei Otani, and he was unaware of where the money was going. Maybe you disagree with that. A lot of people think I'm being naive when I suggest that I think that's the truth, but I do think it's the truth. I think that, by the way, is Occam's razor. That actually makes more sense. Occam's razor is guy stole the money, paid a bookmaker, Shohei didn't know until he later is pressing charges against the guy. But 877-710-ESPN, does this put a damper on opening day? Uh, what do you think he's going to say today? And what do you think really happened with Shohei Otani and uh, Ipe Mazahara and that $4.5 million? So we'll get into that coming up, 877-710-ESPN. Also, I do have a wheel of questions question that I will throw out there as well. Mason in Ireland, uh, DeMarco's in for Ireland, 710-ESPN.
Sometimes that's okay, DeMarco, to do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Just keep track. I wish you guys were in this room. Zero, zero, fourteen, zero. It's amazing what Mace does say in the breaks when I'm in the room. He gets excited. Oh, my God. He yes. goes places that people don't think you'd ever go. Yep. I need you to drink on Thursday. Uh, I need more of this. This is yeah. awesome. Don't forget opening day at Clearman's Galley in San Gabriel. Thanks to our friends at Corona Extra. Real quick, I'm jumping in just to tell you this. Yeah. So are you guys familiar with PMS Photoshop Bandit on Twitter and social media? No. Our friends at Petros and Money. Okay, yeah. They have a listener that runs this site, or runs this account. Okay. And they basically, he's he will Photoshop Petros Money and their producer, Tim Cates' photo into anything. Okay. So they'll take, like, the State of the Union and Photoshop Petros' face, but they always work them in threes. Right. And it's very topical. It's very hilarious. Okay, that's funny. The great Beto Duran sent me this. Look at the one that they just, this is a compliment. So they took the picture of you, Ireland, and Pepe oh, from Saturday awesome. holding the Hall of Famer sign and put Petro's money oh, in Tim Cates' face. That's fantastic. <laughs> and again, I know they're, awesome. they're on the other radio they station. They can that's only awesome. dream about being around for 20 <laughs> that's years. Awesome. They're probably pretty, they're probably they're like in 2007, the ballpark, yeah. 2006. They're, they're probably 15 years for sure, no, definitely. right? Definitely. The, I bet you they're the second longest running team in L.A. Yeah. Ireland and I now surpassed, what, didn't we... Blow by John and Ken. Well, John, or no, Ken retired. retired. Yeah. Ken retired. So that's over. Yeah. Kevin and Bean there ended. They ended a while ago. Mark wow. and Brian ended a while ago. Ended a while ago. Look at you. Game yeah. of Thrones. Game of Thrones, exactly. <laughs> On the Iron Throne. <laughs> For so now. that's pretty cool. That is very nice. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to do a little 2 o'clock call of the day action. Uh, the Shohei thing is huge. Uh, about 45 minutes from now, he is going to speak at Dodger Stadium. We don't know exactly what he's going to say. You heard Fabian Ardaya from The Athletic speculated about it a little bit last hour. But what, what do you think went on? Uh, let's go to Greg in L.A. Greg, you're on 710. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Happy Monday. Thank you, too. Happy Monday. Well, if you I want to know what I honestly think happened, yep, uh, Mr. Otani pro- probably had his fingers fingers on the dial a few times. How and so ever, you want to know what I feel about it? I yes. don't care. I, I sincerely hope that Mr. eBay goes ahead and swallows those charges and takes the time. And if he doesn't want to, I'll uh, slide. Oh, show hey my number. I'll take the charge. He, oh, uh, he's take taking the, the charge. Yeah. And that's, we need rings, and that's all that matters right now. So okay. Look at you. Needs to go ahead and swallow that charge. Do it because that's all anyone cares See? about. Right we'll there. find out what really happened in about 30 years. That's yeah. how the University of Florida keeps Urban call. Meyer. That is, <laughs> honestly, that right. is probably what's happening. Because Ipe yeah. did come out and say Shohei doesn't know anything or didn't know anything about it. He's going to take the charge. He's taking the fall. Who took the charge for Barry Bonds back in the day? Wasn't there a guy that Greg stayed, Anderson? stayed Greg in Anderson. jail for him? Yeah, he took right. the charge. He's going to take the charge. Who took the charge for... Uh, Roger Clemens was that McNamee guy, right? Yeah. Brian McNamee. Brian oh, McNamee. my God. Uh, uh, Chris Carter got thrown out of the rookie symposium for telling the rookies that. If you get in trouble, have a fall guy. Right. Yeah. You don't go to jail. Send your fall guy to jail and get him out. And by the and afterwards, you give him money. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Go, He's, go do some time taking and I'm, the I'm going to make a payment. Let's get one more in here. I like this. Uh, Jason and Downey. Jason, good afternoon. Happy belated, Nate. Thank hey, you, man. You're a little naive, man. I, I, I was telling Greg, I think Shohei did know. And let me tell you this. I was at the game yesterday, and I went and bought a jersey because if Shohei did pay this dude's debt, Shohei is a real one, man. And Ipe is also a real one because he, if, if he does have a hand in it, he says, you know what, I'll take the fall. I got this. So this makes me love Shohei even more. And I'm a, uh, I just can't wait to see him on the field. Okay, okay, so you're hearing you. it firsthand. Thank you very much. You're hearing it firsthand, people selling their souls for championships. Well, wait a minute. Right there. The guy could be a crook. No, he could, let's, be, let's he could take, be a gambler. Let's take it this way. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's accept the premise. Show yeah. me new. Okay. So tell me what's wrong with this as a scenario. Uh, his very close friend, the guy who's with him all the time, is all up in his business and vice versa. He gets into a gambling hole. And he says to Shohei, dude, I need your help. And Shohei wires that money. Has Shohei committed a crime? No, I don't think so. I think he helped out his friend. I think according to Major League Baseball, he has committed a crime. I'm not Major League Baseball. You you (laughs) sent money, which is what is you sent money to a illegal bookmaker. At that point, you are breaking their rules. Oh, I, I, 100%. I think he might, he might have broken a rule, but to me, I think he just helped out a friend. But first and foremost, yeah. he broke a law. See, okay. You, let's... If you break a law by wiring $4.5 million to a, a bookmaker. Over t- it was 4.5 over time. He said, Fabian said over two months. 
No, it was two months. Ago. Was That's a lot years. of losing. Yeah, no. Still, it was still Fabian said two months. It wasn't 4.5. October, November of last year. Yeah, what were you it wasn't betting on? 4.5. What can you bet months. on in October? No- football. Oh, I don't know. What's on? What's going on in October? Football. They that, baseball. They do have that thing called the World Series. Oh, my gosh. Wow. No well, way. No baseball. No baseball. No baseball. No baseball. No baseball. Because, you know, when you bet, you don't bet on the one sport that you know the best. So he's betting on football then. What else is going on? He, they claim he didn't. Well, it, he says he bet on international soccer. Okay, that, I can see that. And he bet basketball. NBA. NBA. In college October. College football. Yeah. Why college, would you bet? Oh, college football. That's another one. College fo- There it is right there. Why would you bet in October for basketball? Yeah. To, yeah, it's a little early, right? Yeah. Yeah, preseason. It's got to be football related or soccer. Yeah, yeah. got to be. Well, we're going to find out something in about uh, 40 minutes. Crazy. But, but if, if that's the case, let's say you're right and that he was just helping out a friend, he mm-hmm. just helping out Ipe. That now means that everything he said over the last three, four days, or the, his team has said over the last three, four days, is a big lie. Because they're saying that he was, it was a massive theft, and they are stealing from him. So now you're changing the story again. Uh, no, I'm just I'm I'm suggesting that's that this is. is one scenario. But if that is a scenario, you should have said that from no, the very beginning. that's something he made up. I, I, I'm just making this no, up. No, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. he's going I'm, to say it. They're we're, saying we're playing would, it out. We're yeah, playing yeah. it out. If we're playing out what you are saying, yes. then, you're, then the story is being changed yet again if that's what happens. Yeah. If that is what ultimately comes out, it's another lie. But to take Travis's point from earlier, raising the subject of Occam's razor, to me, the most obvious answer is Ipe stole this money. But why is it the most obvious answer? For, to you, I'm curious. Because I've seen people get cleaned out by business managers and associates all the time. He it is happens. not a business manager. He well, is. sounds like he has doesn't access. He, doesn't but he why? play a fuller role than just being a translator? He's got to translate everything, He's right? with him in yeah. every you, meeting. Do you know that for sure, that he has access to his bank accounts? No, and it, that he did? But, do you, but you don't know that he doesn't. Uh, no, no. Neither of us know one way or the other. But the, <laughs> but the fact of the matter <laughs> is trying to that corner you on why, that I know, Well, you, you <laughs> can't, but it's, I'm still going right back to you. It's if you are, why are you giving your best friend translator access to your account? I have a lot of really good friends. I will ne- never let them see my account. If if I'm going to do that, it's going to go to a financial advisor, not my translator. Um, I just found this story from last year about Shohei and his interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara. Uh, let me hang on. There's so many friggin' ads on this. Sounds thing. like you want Otani to get caught there, Greg. No, no, not at all. I'm just. I'm, you I'm just, just want the truth to come I'm, out. Yeah, I just want the truth look to come out. You. And if see? you look at it. I, from everything that I see, I want Shohei to be keep totally off everything, yeah. keep his integrity, be the best Dodger that he can no, possibly be. No, no, you be. keep your integrity. The other callers are like, I could care less. Oh, no. I just, I just want championships. Well, this of guy, course I want championships. But I mean, This guy could be the new be Jimmy the, the Greek. Truth. You wouldn't care. <laughs> you know I mean? No, they wouldn't care, yeah. Right, right. that's what I'm yeah, saying. If wow. you did something against baseball, if you bet on baseball, there's a lot of things that you, you just shouldn't happen. Okay, I I'm, want this to be, re, to be all on EPEC. I'm looking at an interview... Uh, with some quotes from Shohei. Um, Shohei said this about Ipe. We're not friends or anything, just business partners. Oh, boy. When was this? Uh, February 4th, 2024. We're not friends or anything, just business partners. Wait, okay. he said that yes. a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. While they're We're friendly. not friends or anything, just business partners. How did the friendship develop with Ipe? Tell us quickly about how that all evolved. And now it has to be you answering. He can interpret. Uh, he says, yeah, we're not friends or anything. We're just business partners. He laughs at his own joke. It's my first time standing in front of all the Dodger fans in my Dodger jersey. It's a great feeling. Let's see if he says anything else about Ipe. Shohei Otani's translator once spoke about how close people from the Dodgers star's life reach out to him for updates. Um, yeah, so I, that, that quote is out there. We're not friends or anything, just business partners. Wow. I've never seen that. That's interesting because he's with them because everything we've been talking about for the last week is that they're always together. They're the best of friends. They do everything together. They're in every meeting. Well, yeah, I don't bail. One name Dodger said they have almost a spiritual connection. Well, I don't bail out my business partners. I bail out friends who get in gambling debts, but I don't bail out business partners. Right. I, I cut ties with them. But business partners might have access to your oh, accounts. I'm sure this guy has a lot of access. It's a business partner. Yes. Probably in his house. He's been everywhere, seen everything. He's that it's guy. It's an interesting shift. Yeah. In thought. Yeah. That's uh, 
I bet the happiest guy in L.A. is Dave Roberts. Oh, Cody Lou just, <laughs> just texted me. He said that that was a joke at FanFest. That quote was a joke. Oh. Yeah, but, we're not friends or anything, just business partners. Yeah, Shoei Otani drops hilarious assessment of his relationship with A.P. Mazahara. Yeah, so was, it's his he friend. Was, yeah, he was joking. It's a friend. It's they're, his buddy. They're very yeah. good friends. You ever pay it off a buddy's debt? I mean, if I had the means to do yeah. it and I, they were in real trouble, I would. Bar tab? Sure, yeah. absolutely. Something like that. Yeah. I always say I'll do it once. Yeah. Just once. Like, I, I've bailed I will out, help you out, yeah. I bailed out uh, four people, and and three of them never paid me back. And I never never expected to be paid back. Like, if you give somebody money, I never expect it to come back. It's always a nice surprise I'm if it comes back. I'm giving you money. Right. 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 Yeah. My uh, college roommate uh, wanted to buy the Dairy Queen franchise for Toledo, Ohio. He borrowed some money from me. I thought, all right, good. You got restaurants and ice cream and all that stuff. Um, and he ended up paying back a little bit at a time until it was completely paid back. Nice. I've had other people that just never even thought about it again. Oh, yeah. We've all been robbed yeah. at some point. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Man of integrity. Love it. All right. Uh, coming up next, I actually do want to throw out this Wheel of Questions thing that I was going to do. Uh, we'll do that uh, coming up next. In the meantime, oh, man, I, I have been – Saturday was uh, obviously pickleball in the rain. But I was jonesing for some poker. Um, and my favorite casino and the only place that I ever play is Commerce. And here's why. Commerce Casino Hotel, largest poker room in the world. That is certified, official, and real. And there's no better place to play in Southern California. There's always a seat for you at Commerce, maybe even next to me, maybe even this Sunday morning. Maybe even. Poker action never ends at Commerce. This year alone, the Commerce Casino will pay out over $20 million in jackpots, great food at Commerce, amazing staff, beautiful hotel rooms, daily tournaments, and, of course, the Commerce Casino and Hotel is the official home for Mandy's 3 this coming June. Commerce Casino 6131 Telegraph Road in Commerce. For more information, visit CommerceCasino.com. That's CommerceCasino.com, and I will see you at the Commerce. Mesa and Ireland. DeMarco and for John 710 ESPN. Hi, Parker. What's up, Greg? Spring training. Hi, Parker. So <laughs> Jeez. Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto's here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say? 9.30, 9.55? Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant. Travis Rogers, perhaps? Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX. Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcast. Ah! Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcasts. Join us.
Sandwich between Travis and Sliwa and Sonato and Cap. Mason and Ireland continues now. Take the next verse. Go ahead. I forgot it. What is it? I, I, you, look you, I don't know my Dua Lipa. <laughs> Come on. I saw her on Saturday Night Live. She's actually really good. Good dancer. Really talented. Really, yeah. really good. Really good. So, uh, all right. So I, I hear New Madonna. That's what I heard. New Madonna. Maybe not. I hope not. There is a New Madonna? It would be her. They're saying she's the new Madonna. Every time I see her, she looks like a new person. Madonna? Madonna. Yeah, it's true. like a moving target. Yeah, I Every hope Every time not. I see her, it's like, hmm, no doubt. what'd you do now? Stop caring. What's this look? <laughs> right. About me now. <laughs> the Mom, thing go I, away. We almost went to see Madonna you know at how. the Forum. Yeah. Um, but I hate the fact that the concert starts at 8, and she doesn't go on until 10.30. I keep hearing about that. That's She's ridiculous. Notoriously so late. So disrespectful. Yeah. Disrespectful. You ever walked out on a show because of that? Like, left... Hot tickets Be- because the, of that. The no. act was late. No, yeah. once you're there, you're pot committed. You're in right? there. Yeah, yeah, you have to be there. You're in it. Yep. Uh, I wanted to throw one thing out there. 805 Raider tweeted this. What are the chances that Otani was misled as to what the money he was lending was for? Therefore, sent the cash willingly, thinking he was doing a friend a legitimate favor. Not sure even if I believe that, but it seems plausible. Yeah, so what if... That's a horrible angle. What if Ipe said... I'm having trouble. I I, I need some cash. Uh, Shoei Otani says, absolutely, what, whatever you need. Uh, Ipe says, wire it here. Uh, Shohei wires it there. Then finds out it's going into a legal gambling operation. Then he's not smart then. I hope that's not the case. I hope he's not easily duped. I hope he was robbed. I do too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I I I hope he wasn't just duped by a guy, his interpreter. By the See, way, to me, that's that if that's the answer, if that's the plausible answer, then you got duped by a really, really good friend that you thought was your closest friend. I would believe that. Right. But if you're saying you're saying that that would be worse. Yeah, because that that makes him stupid. Otani look stupid. Yeah. Wait a minute. I mean, your friend comes to you and says you you're worth whatever bajillion You're worth dollars 30 billion dollars and yeah. a guy right. comes to you and says boy i really i'm i need 4.5 million dollars um for for what for, that would be my first question for, for project what? x whatever he says project for my, x for my family for my whatever whatever it is it, but he doesn't say it's for gambling i'm just giving you the money right you need 4.5 million dollars to cover i'm i'm gonna give you 4.5 million dollars because i've got so much money i guess it it's matter. kind of the same thing Either he robbed you and you didn't know, or he lied to you and you gave him the money and he paid this gambling debt. Either right. way, yeah, either way, it's. I think it's just an honest mistake. You trusted the wrong guy. Yeah, not the first athlete in the world that's trusted the wrong guy or I, wrong person. I think the problem that's going on here is that he has already come out and said, or his people has come out and said, I it was stolen from me. So that is no longer possible. That I helped my friend out because he told me this. That's no longer possible. We cannot use that excuse anymore. Unbeknownst to Otani, yeah, he un- went in and took the money. He it, he is going with the route of I was stolen from. Massive theft yeah. is what was used. Right. So all these di- different things that we're coming up with, like, oh, this would be plausible. This is understandable. They don't matter. Mace, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You ever been to, like, a rich person's house? You have rich friends? Uh, I was at Michael Thompson's house. You ever take something from their house without uh, them knowing? <laughs> he I- used fire. Michael took some extra chicken parmesan, I think. That, I walked out of there with a big uh, container of chicken parm. That, you stole it from, from Michael. Uh, no, Julie said, here, I have all this food. Take some food. Oh, so me. she gave it to yeah, you. She gave okay, it to a little us, bit right. different. Little okay. bags, you ever stole it from, from a friend, took something? What? First of all, let me just Silverware? ask you. Silverware? If I did, <laughs> would I come on the air and say I stole stuff from well, a friend? It, it could be 20 years ago. I would never steal stuff from a friend. Okay. Now, yeah. my mom, on the other hand. Really? That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Have you, anybody, taken something from someone that has a lot of stuff? He won't miss it? No. An extra jersey? A football card? What about hotel nope. rooms? Do you take stuff from a... We used to well, take towels. I've I guess got, there was one. Time. My <laughs> towels... Ah. <laughs> my towels are, like, from every different hotel in the world. Of course. I mean, they want you to take those, though. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. See? You sound like the guy. So, the one thing that I <laughs> He took... wanted me to take... <laughs> he, he wanted, wanted me to <laughs> take that $4.5 million. He wanted me to gamble. Uh, no, the only thing I ever took was from a roommate in college was a video game that I really, really liked. When I went home, I stole it because 
was like, I want to play this at home. You stole it? I stole the video game. Wow. Yeah, it was like snowboarding. You stole game. the whole game? Yeah, no, I took the like took the, the cartridge device. or the, the whole cartridge. system. It was a CD. You yeah. stole the game. I, took, I stole the game. Brian, what have home. you stolen? Uh, nothing I could think of. I don't know. You you, you stole. I don't think. Come I, on. I don't, I don't think, think so. I've stolen, stolen anything. something. I don't think I've stolen anything. Have you taken like candy from the store? No. No. Not like a candy bar, like you know the stuff, the bulk candy. I'll just take one candy corn. No. No? One Remember? Ca- who like eats one candy corn, I see by the people way. do it all the time. One? No? A single candy corn? Dead. They, they don't think that's stealing. There's a lot there. There's a ton I, there. I don't think they that can... counts as stealing. I, you're talking about walking out of somebody's house with the candlesticks or something. Well, if you, if you take something from the store without paying for it, technically that's stealing. Even though I'm Correct. saying the store has, there's a lot, they're not going to miss it. Kind of like this guy and his money. I was never big on shoplifting. Ever. 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 Even as a little kid, never. I was... I had this, like, drilled into my, be a good boy, be a good boy, be a good boy. I was always trying to be a good boy. Always. Yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah, I was the good boy. But everybody, you know, my runs brother's... afoul of the law or the rules every my, now and then. I, my, the order was, my brother, if he stole one, he had to steal one for me, too. My brother was a big shoplifter. So you don't steal. You just out people that do. <laughs> Correct. Correct. My brother, my mom has a whole st- set of steak knives that she got from a restaurant that she took over a period of time. See? And yeah. what's her okay, ration? stuff like Have that. Have you yeah, done yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. See? There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's technically stealing. What were you thinking? See? Well, ramekins or whatever those things yeah, are called. Yeah, I'll take those all the time. My, my They've grandma, got plenty, right? My grandma right. will sometimes take the salt and pepper shakers. They, yeah, if they have a cool design, you know. They've got that? plenty. They're not going to miss them. And a whole purse full of rolls. There you go. Yeah. See? There you go. Everybody's done this. Yeah, but, just, I, but I have not. I don't believe you, though. I, have, I believe I everything not, you say except for that. I am, I am not a thief. I am not a I thief. I think you've stolen something at some point in your life. Okay. Uh, <laughs> up to debate. So I want to throw this at you. Uh you know, I I have really good seats for Rams games. Yeah, as you know, they're they're very close to the fifty yard line. Yeah, I'm super psyched, and they're expensive, but it's completely worth it because I love the Rams. So the Arizona Cardinals are building luxury casitas, and I think we have those at SoFi Stadium. Those ground floor, ground level clubs, clubs, Club seats. right? Yeah, yeah. So. They're building uh, these casitas, and there's valet parking, a VIP entrance, unlimited food and beverage, access to a private garden. Uh, and here's the question. If you had that as a possibility, sitting on the field, at a party, free food and drink, valet parking, and, uh, and exclusive valet or VIP entrance, would you rather have that or two seats at the 50-yard line? I'd rather have two seats at the 50, especially if I was in Arizona. At SoFi, I don't think it matters because of that big Oculus. The big Oculus, You can see the game from anywhere. But in Arizona, really, you're going to have those field-level suites, and they've got end zone boards. So at some point, you're going to miss the game. Right, right. It's going to be hard to see. That's not going to be a whole lot of fun. Bergman, what about you? It's a a luxury casita, uh, valet parking, VIP entrance, unlimited food and beverage, private garden, all that stuff, or two seats at the 50-yard line. You hate going to NFL games. You're a bad person. What? (laughs) I mean, I am a bad person. It's not that I hate going to the games. They're just long, and they're boring at times. There's a lot of downtime in a football game. I know. know, We've talked about this, DeMarco. No, not this. I'm learning more about you. Yeah. What are you Every talking about? NFL of the four boring. main sports, I'm including hockey. Football is the last one I would want to go. Oh my god, that's unreal. Including so baseball, basketball. Do we have hockey. to speak? <laughs> yeah, I mean it is. I mean I like going. It is a very weird take. I like going. I just it's the fourth one, my fourth favorite. It feels to go like to. the biggest of the big time to me. Like I, I would put yes, I would put uh, sure. Rams at one. home. Dodgers two, Lakers three, Rams Kings one. four. Yeah, I would put Rams. Oh, okay. See, okay, you're wrong with the Kings. King hockey is the best sport live. Period. So you put them matter. above the Lakers? No, no, yes, I would rather you'd go to a hockey game than any other sport. You put them event. three over the Lakers? Not, not. Oh, he's crazy. No, 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 yeah. no. Uh, we're talking about going to the yeah. event, not right, the do, team. Do not the, the order. Team. Do the order. There's no argument. Hockey you're crazy. is the best sport live. So you'd period. So you'd see the Kings before you'd see any other sporting event. I would go to a hockey game before I go to any of this. Okay, We're talking next? about just the sport and what's live. Okay, I would go teams. hockey, basketball, baseball, football. That's unreal. Do you have friends? Yeah, I have a lot of How friends. How many? I mean, I can't count Are them. Are they all, like, do they all? 327,000. Do they think They're like all you listening think? right now. Do they all They're agree all with friends. you? Are you are you crazy, really? <laughs> no. It's, look, hockey is I, fun. I'll give you that. You Hockey's is fun. Hockey's a blast. Hockey is I'll give you that. Hockey is Hockey's amazing. A blast. Yeah, hockey is fun. I like your list, but I would flop the Dodgers and Lakers. So football, basketball. Hockey, then baseball. See, baseball is a different kind of thing. Baseball, 
you're at a game, but you're also, you know, in the sun and you're it's eating like golf. and drinking yeah. and there's like a casual sort of nature to the whole. We're going on Sunday um, to see uh, Dodgers Cardinals, uh, and that'll be the first time we get to see Shohei Otani, that I get to see Shohei Otani uh, in person. Of I'm close. excited for that. I well, assume he's going to be available. He's playing. never going to be suspended. Come on. There's no way. This, no. this this will be a footnote in his career. Definitely not yeah. by Sunday. Yeah. Greg hopes so, though. When are you getting out there, Bergman? <laughs> Get out to where? Dodger Stadium. Do- as soon as I can. I, w- I want to try probably by next week. Maybe on the Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday game. Right. It's, I guess it Giants. goes Cardinals, Giants. Yeah. Giants. yeah, Giants. I think I'll go see them. Yeah. Maybe try and figure out. How much out. do you spend at the Dodgers? Blake Snow. Like, if you're going for a game, how much do you not spend? Not you play them. Uh, see, I don't. I don't drink at games. Greg, you 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 have a beer at baseball uh, games. Abs- right? 100%. You, I got a Michelada. Spend? What do you spend at oh, the Dodgers? They're expensive now. Micheladas are like 25 bucks. Yeah, they're like 25 bucks for 200 a 200 bucks for a game? What about So we get the tickets. We used to get tickets here. We don't have them here anymore. Yeah. So I'd have to spend No, outside of ticket costs. Outside. Like what are you spending oh, geez, there? You get the food and everything. So yeah. if you put it all together if it's me I'm paying for the other person, it, it will probably get over 100 bucks easy. 100 bucks easy. Okay. What about the Rams? They're, it's awesome. Really? Okay. So, SoFi is very, very outside really of bad for the food. They hate SoFi. The, they food, like the food, food is so SoFi? bad. They How do you no, hate SoFi? No. SoFi is, is beautiful. Completely overrated. What? It's beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful stadium. I'm going to stop talking to you forever. However, the food is not good. The parking is horrendous. And it's just not. Is he bah humbug about everything? <laughs> no, he's, I'm talking about wonderful but he is baseball is. Anti SoFi. He's sure. anti SoFi. So is Ireland. So is Brian. Brian, are wow. you anti SoFi? You I are wouldn't not. say anti. Okay. Thank but you, you think it's overrated? Well, maybe a little. No, oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I've been in stadiums anti, all around the, including Olympic State. I think SoFi is the greatest stadium and, I've ever been. And you'd be correct. Yes. Now I will say that, like. My situation involves um, unlimited food and beverages also. Yeah. so That's you what have you the... get when you're there. Okay, that's mm-hmm. you have a in different my, experience than yeah, most people. Section. It's a different experience. Brian, I'll send you there uh, uh, w- one of the preseason games. All right, sounds good. I always have a, a loose pair during preseason because I don't go to any Take preseason advantage of that games. unlimited. Yeah, I want to yeah. see that. I want to <laughs> see how the good people live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All Let's right. steal from him. Uh, coming up next for you, as we wait... Uh, Shohei Otani speaking at Dodger Stadium. I want to ask you, DeMarco, what is a swivel hip drop tackle? We'll do it coming up next. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN.
Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcasts. Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcast. Join us. Hi, Parker. What's up, Greg? Hi, Parker. So- <laughs> Jeez. Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto's here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say? 9.30, 9.55? Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant. Travis Rogers, perhaps? Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX. in Los Angeles, and we thank all of our podcast listeners for that. If you ever miss a moment, get your fill anytime. Just search Mason and Ireland wherever you get your podcast. Like I should. What's going on, people? It is uh, Monday. Some people say happy Monday. I do not. There's nothing happy about a Monday. Yes, there is. No, there's not. Absolutely. Absolutely You, you got to go through Monday to get to Friday. No evidence of anything good coming from a Monday. <laughs> So uh, we're going to pick up the Shohei Otani uh, press conference in just a couple of minutes, so make sure you're here for that. In the meantime, uh, DeMarco, they made a new NFL rule today. Yeah. They are banning a particular type of uh, tackle called the swivel hip drop tackle. Yeah. Explain. What is that? It's, it's Look, you've seen it a thousand mm-hmm. times before, like in pursuit. Say Cooper Cup is, is running towards the sideline, yep. and the defender is beaten. He's... The okay. Rams have outflanked him, so yep. he has no choice but to stick an arm out, grab the guy by the waist, and try to get him on the ground. So what winds up happening is you fall on the back of a guy's legs. It's a dangerous tackle. It right. happens. It's, right. It's nothing you're trying to do. It's just what happens during the game. Yeah. So just like with targeting and whatnot, it's something that defenders are going to have to practice against and learn how to tackle better. That's just the way it is. Yeah. I mean, with the the rate – of uh, scoring in the NFL right now, I would imagine this only helps. Yeah, I, 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 don't you think? Every, scoring is down, right? Like, no, it's up. I thought up, I thought up, they were up. concerned about scoring. No, yeah. no, up, up, up. Everybody's scoring, the, and I think that the difference is they keep legislating uh, in favor of offensive players over defensive players, and this sounds like another example. That's of that. just and the way it is. Here's yeah. another way you can't tackle. Well, yeah, I mean, look, it's dangerous because guys are getting hurt. The same thing with the horse collar. This is right. This I, get, is the, I get the horse collar. It's an extension of the horse collar. It's the same basic idea. When a guy is past you, you have no choice, and you spin around on him, and you wind up landing. Your body weight lands on his feet, on his ankles. You could break an ankle, twist an ankle, what have you. It's just a dangerous tackle. Right. So, one more thing you're not allowed to do as a defensive player. You're going to have to get better at this part. By the way, I want to make a, a correction. You're absolutely right. Scoring was actually down. Yeah. The offenses were sputtering. They are concerned about this, so it's weird. I, I don't think this has anything to do with the, the, the drop hip tackle or whatever you're calling it, but, yeah, they're concerned about scoring. But this, just like with targeting and, and guys getting hit across the middle, I, I thought it was mm-hmm. impossible for a free safety to be able to go bang, bang, and put his head where he wants to. You know what I mean? Like, Stay off the helmet of an offensive player. Right. I was wrong about that. You can't. It can be coached, and you can play as a safe as a safe player. So this is something defenses and defenders are going to have to work on. This is now outlawed. It's the law of the land. It's something yep. you cannot do. They will flag you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they added some replay assistant. Yeah, they either, it's uh, they're going to put up a replay. NFL will let replay assistant. Fix mistakes on roughing the passer and intentional ground. Thank God. So there'll be like a quick review and a yes, that was roughing. 
So they'll have they'll, let's say there's a roughing the passer call. Yep. The replay assistant in the booth will look at him and say and call down to the referee and say that was the wrong call and then they'll fix it. Yeah, I mean I you good. Can, I honestly you can just put the game on TV and know the correct answer. You turn turn down the sound because Romo will be saying, hey, "I don't know, Jim. Jim. <laughs> I don't know, Jim. Can Looks I get like right in the face, Jim? Looks like a hip drop. You table. don't like Romo either? No, can't a, stand a lot him. of people hate Romo now. What yeah. happened? Did you used to like Romo and you hate him now? I don't know, Demarco. He Seems, never did. I, I you never I liked Romo. I disliked him from the very from beginning. From the minute. Oh, from did, the very how beginning. How about you? I I liked him a lot at the very beginning. The first couple of years, I was like, this guy was great. And he now was, he talks so much and uh, doesn't say Marco. anything. Looks like he doesn't say anything anymore. Looks like he made the catch, well, Demarco. So if if you don't like, who do you like? If you don't like, I like Romo. Greg Olson. Oh, Greg I Olson's think Greg fantastic. Olson's great. I think Chris Collins. Greg works. talks a lot too. He talks, but he's, he's smart. He's, he's prepared. Smart, and he's telling you what is actually happening. He's not trying to guess. Oh, watch! They're going to go do this, Jim. Oh, no, no, Jim. Okay, this is funny. Romo used to be the guy, and now he's like the most. I hated. disliked him from the very beginning. Wow. I don't think he does his homework. He also really? ruined the the Super Bowl call. Yeah, he ruined the Super Bowl call. Yeah, he was. That was kind of messy. Stepped right. all yeah, over. Kind of bad. I want to get a break in because we're going to go live to Dodger Stadium uh, for the Shohei Otani press conference in just a minute here. In the meantime, I want to tell you about my partnership with the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. So we all had a, uh, lots of people had fun weekends. Some people did not. Some people were depressed or you're anxious or you're overwhelmed or you're dreading work. You've got the Monday scaries, what they talk about, or you're having relationship stuff or whatever that is. Here's the thing. You got to talk to somebody. And if you don't have that person in your life that you feel like you can talk to, there is an emergency. I won't say emergency. There is a hotline you can call. Free emotional support just to talk. Service referrals. You want to go uh, find a, a psychologist, psychiatrist, uh, counselor, something like that, or crisis counseling there, you can use their hotline number at 1-800-854-7771. That's 800-854-7771. You can visit their website, dmh.lacounty.gov. That's dmh.lacounty.gov. The L.A. County Department of Mental Health is all about hope and recovery and well-being. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. You never have. Hi, right, Parker. What's up, Greg? Hi, right, Parker. So <laughs> Jeez. Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Yes. Why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto's here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say? 9.30, 9.55? Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant, Travis Rogers, perhaps. Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX. Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcast. Ah! Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcasts. Join us.
Ladies and gentlemen, Ireland on 710 ESPN, the OGs of LA Sports Radio. We're here each weekday, 1 to 4 p.m. for your afternoon. Sandwich between Travis and Sliwa and Sonato and Cap. Mason at Ireland continues now. All right, we're moments away from a press conference at Dodger Stadium. It is a media circus. We talked to uh, Fabian Ardaya from The Athletic a little bit earlier. Uh, a massive amount of media is now at Dodger Stadium, and Shohei Otani expected to make a statement of some kind about Ipe Muzahara and the relationship and whether or not that money was stolen, the $4.5 million, or if Shohei knew he was wiring money to an illegal bookmaker. All that stuff is going to be addressed, and let's go live to Shohei Otani uh, and a different uh, translator now. The statement. Let's take you out to L.A. MLB Network. え、え、uh, I'm sure it was very tough. It's been a tough week for fans and team officials, and I'm very grateful that the media has been patience, patient in this process. Uh, just on a personal note, uh, I'm very saddened and shocked that someone who I'm trusted has done this. え、まあ、obviously today there's things that I'm limited in being able to talk about. I hope you understand. Uh, I do have a document in front of me that I will refer to uh, that will detail what has happened. え、まず初めに、え、僕自身は、え、何かにかけたりとか、え、誰かに変わって、え、その、you're hearing Shohei Otani at Dodger Stadium, uh, courtesy MLB Network as he addresses uh, the story about the uh, gambling uh, that was involved with uh, Ipe Mizahara, his translator. And again, courtesy MLB Network. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. Up until a couple of days ago, I didn't know that this was happening. Um, just to kind of just go over the result, uh, in conclusion, uh, Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. Uh, last weekend in Korea, um, media has reached out to a representative in my camp um, inquiring about my, my potential involvement in this sports betting. で、
支払ったというふうに僕の代理人も含めてみんなに話してました。So, Ipe never revealed to me that there was this media, media inquiry. And、uh, to the representatives to, in my camp, he told, Ipe told、uh, to the media and to my representatives that I, you know, on behalf of a friend,、uh, paid off、uh, debt. And then, the next day, I was in the room, and Ipe was in the room, and Ipe was in the room. えー、借金は自分のものあ、つまり一平さん自身が作ったものだということを、えーいあまあ、説明しました。Upon, upon further questioning, it was revealed that it was actually, in fact, 一平 who, who was in debt. で、それを僕が、まあ、肩代わりしたという話を、えー、その時に代理人に話したそうです。And told my representatives that I was paying off those debts. そしてこれらは全くすべてが嘘だったということですね。And this, this, all of this has been a complete lie. 一平さんは取材依頼のことも僕にはもちろんその時伝えていなかったですし、代理人の人たちに対しても僕はすでに彼と話して、彼と話してコミュニケーションを取っていたということを嘘をついてました。<笑> so 一平は、um, obviously lied about, you know, basically didn't tell me about the media inquiry. So, Ipe has been telling everybody around that, he, that Ipe has been communicating with Shohei on all of this account to my representative, you know, to, my representative to the team, and that hasn't been true. そして僕がこのギャンブルに関しての問題を初めて知ったのは、えー、韓国での第一戦が終わった後に行われたチームミーティング、えー、の時あの試合の後のチームミーティングの時です。The first time I knew about this gambling,、uh, it pays gambling was during the、uh, after the first game when we had team meeting in the clubhouse. えー、まあそのミーティングで彼は全部英語で話していたので、僕に通訳はもちろんついてその時ついていなくて。す、え、べ、ー、て英語で話していたのは、まあ、完全には理解でき,もできていなくて、まあ、なんとなくこういう内容だろうなというのは、おそらくは、えー、理解はできていましたけど、なんとなく違和感をその時は感じていました。So during the team meeting, obviously, Ipe was speaking English, and I didn't have a translator on my side. But, with, but even with that, I kind of understood what was going on, and started to feel、uh, that there was something、uh, amiss.、えー、で、まあ、その時彼は、えー、僕に対して、ホテルに帰った後で、えー、二人で、えー、より詳しいことを、えー、二人で話したいので今は待ってくれというふうに言っていたので僕はまずその時は、ま、ホテルまで待つことにしてました。Just prior to the meeting, I was told by Ipe, hey, let's talk one to one in the hotel after the meeting. So I waited until then. で僕は一平さんがその時にギャンブルあのミーティングの時にギャンブルの依存症だっていうのは僕はもちろん知らなかったですし。彼が借金をしていることもその時そのミーティングの時はもちろん知りませんでした。So up until that team meeting, I didn't know that Ipe had a gambling addiction and was in debt. で僕は彼の借金返済にももちろん同意その時も同意してませんし、物件会に対して彼に送金をしてくれと頼んだことももちろん許可したことももちろんないです。And at that obviously at that point, or I and obviously I did not never agreed to pay off the debt or you know make payments to the、uh, bookmaker. でまあ、その後試合後、ホテルに、えー、戻って、一平さんと初めてそこで話をして、えー、彼に巨額の借金があることをその時知りました。And finally, when we went back to the hotel and talked one to one, that was when I was,、uh, when I found out that he had a massive、uh, debt. で、彼はその時私に、えー、僕の口座を勝手に、僕の口座に勝手にアクセスして、ブックメーカーに送,信あ送金していたということを僕に伝えました。And it was revealed to me during that meeting that he, Ipe, admitted that he was sending money、uh, using my account to the bookmaker. And at that moment, obviously, I was, it was an absurd thing that was happening, and I've contacted my representatives at that point. でも話し終わってこれを聞いて、僕の代理人もやっぱり彼に嘘をつかれていたということを初めて知って、すぐにドジャースの皆さんと弁護士の人たちにその時に連絡しました
So when, my, when I was finally able to talk to my representatives, that's when my representatives found out that Ipe has been lying the whole time, and that's when I started contacting the Dodgers and my lawyers. で、まあ、そのドジャースの皆さんも、えー、代理の人たちもその彼らもその時に初めてまた自分たちも嘘をつかれていたということをその時に知りました。And the Dodgers and the lawyers at that moment found out also as well that they have been lied to. そして僕が弁護士の人たちはこれは窃盗と詐欺のことなのでこれを警察の当局に引き渡すという報告をその時にしました。That we have the proper authorities handle this matter. まあこれがそこまでの流れなので、僕はもちろんスポーツ賭博にはもちろん関与していないですし、ブックメーカーにさっきも言いましたけど送金をしていたという事実は全くえありません。So you know, in conclusion, I do want to make it clear that I never bet on sports or have willfully、uh, sent money、uh, to the bookmaker. まあ正直あのショックというまあ言葉がまあ。正しいとは思わないですし、えー、まあそれ以上のこう、うん、うまく言葉では表せないような、えー、感覚でこの一週間ぐらいはずっと過ごしてきたので、今はそれをうまく言葉にするのは、えー、難しいなという思っています。You know, to summarize how I'm feeling right now, I'm just beyond shocked. It's really hard to、uh, verbalize how I am feeling at this point. まあ、ただ、もうシーズンも本格的にスタートするので、えー、ここからは弁護士の、えー、方々にもお任せしますし、僕自身も、えー、警察当局の、えー、協力に全面的に協力したいなと思っています。And the season's going to start, so I'm going to obviously let my lawyers handle、uh, matters from here on out, and I am、uh, completely assisting、uh, in all investigations that are taking place right now. なので、まあ気持ちを切り替えるのは難しいですけどもシーズンに向けて、えー、またスタートしたいですし、えー、今日まずお話できてよかったなとも思っているので、えーまあ、今日は質疑応答は、えー、これが今お話できるすべてなので質疑応答はしませんが、えー、これから、えー、さらに進んでいくと思います。You know, I'm looking forward to focusing on the season. I'm, I'm glad that we had this opportunity to talk,、um, and I'm sure there will be、uh, continuing investigations moving forward. 以上ですありがとうございました Thank you very much. All right, there you have it. There is Shohei Otani addressing、uh, the story about the $4.5 million that was wired to an illegal bookmaker from Shohei Otani's account. And to summarize a little bit of what he said,、uh, DeMarco's here.、Uh, you're listening to KSP in Los Angeles, a good karma brand station. So, to summarize kind of what he said,、um, He said he was shocked that someone he knows so well has done this. He said he has never bet on baseball and never went to a bookmaker to bet on sports. That Ipe has been stealing money from his account and has told lies.、Uh, in Korea, the media inquired about potential involvement in sports betting, and Ipe told the media that I, on behalf of my friend, paid off the debt. So that was Ipe's story when the media inquired.、Uh, it was revealed that Ipe. Was in debt, told his reps that I was paying off those debts. All of this was a complete lie. Ipe lied about the media inquiry. He'd been telling everyone that Ipe was communicating with Shohei. First time I knew of the gambling was after the first game in Korea, team, the team meeting in the clubhouse. Ipe speaking no English, no translator,、uh, was speaking English, but no translator. And、uh, Shohei felt like something was amiss. Prior to the meeting, he talked one on one.、Uh, they later、uh, went back to the hotel, had a conversation. Um, and he realized the depths of the problem that Ipe had. He says, I never agreed to make payments to the bookmaker.、Um, and at this moment,、um, he, is,、uh, he never sent money using his account to the bookmaker. And、uh, his representatives found out that Ipe was lying and that there is theft, there is fraud, and authorities need to handle it. Wow. Didn't he start by saying, There's only so much I can say? He did. He But did, then he said everything. He did say a lot more than I expected him、what's, to say. What's left to say? You said everything. The guy stole from me. I didn't bet on baseball. I didn't bet on sports. I thought that was very well done by Shohei, and Will Ireton was the, is the translation. Will Ireton, okay.、Yeah. Is the translator, and I thought that he was—he sounded 
very, very convincing, and I fully believe everything you said. The way that he put it all together, you as it's now out there in public, and you have to just take him for what he's worth. Well, that's his side. That's his. That's yeah. his side. I mean, he's saying, and really, that's Ipe what, is yeah. not is not going against that. Really, he's no, saying, Ipe is he, not challenged. He's story. not at all. Well, now that now that Shohei has put it out there publicly, I, I bet there's going to be a response, some sort of answer. Some sort of statement from the other side. He's basically going with what Ipe said as well. I mean, Ipe yeah. was said he knew no, Shohei knew nothing about it, and and really put him to the side. So I mean, the, the, he talked for a long time and went from beginning to end and tried to hit every single point that we've been talking about. Like, where did this come from? How yeah. did you get yep. into your money? How did you do all those? Why things? did that press conference happen? Why right. did he address ESPN? All that stuff. He went into all of it and he did a very good job of it. I, I'm with Shohei. I mean, this is what. Again, this is, for me, Travis apparently used Occam's razor earlier, and I know it makes me sound super smart when I say it, so... I like saying it, too. I think it's Occam, huh. I think it's Occam's razor is, he was really close to this guy, his translator, his translator got into his bank accounts, gambling, got into debt, used Shohei's money to pay yeah. off the debt, and didn't tell Shohei about it. Isn't and, that the plot to, like, rounders? You got in debt, and now you, you got to... Use me to get out of it or something like that. Something like that, uh, right? Yeah. Kind of. He yeah. was trying kinda. to get out of debt. He was trying to get worm. out of debt by playing. Yeah, so he by, by worm. Playing, <laughs> right. So was, by playing poker. It was, uh, who, it was, who are the actors? Matt Damon. Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Yeah. And, and um, uh, Edward Ed, Norton. Edward Norton. Yeah. So course, Ipe is Edward Norton. The and Shohei is Matt Damon. Yeah. What's interesting, he talked about how he Ipe went to his advisors and told him, this is why I need the money is to help pay off somebody else's yep. debt. And it had turned out that it was Ipe's debt that he was paying, and he didn't even know. So, again, wow. if we're looking for plausible. You believe him now. Yeah, yeah. I believe it because if you're looking for plausible, Ipe going to his advisor in English, talking, translating to the advisors in English, yeah. said, hey, I need money for this. Yep. That's what Shohei, it was it for. It was for him gambling. Shohei doesn't speak any English. Well, he has spoken English. He does, but just like this, yeah, you don't. But this things is super get long. complex. You don't want to say right. It's not your first language. So I you got don't you. Want to say the wrong. How things. shady! You start speaking English when you're supposed to be the guy's translator, and you're being shady about it. That's right. that's horrible. Yeah. That's terrible. You don't want to lose anything in translation. So yeah. you speak the, the your native tongue, so you can have the your translators just say what you're saying, and it does not get mis- misconstrued. Wow. Brian, are you well, buying uh, Shohei's story? Yeah, I'm buying it. I, I agree. I, everything he said, even I was trying to look at the beginning, he kind of looked at eh, but then when he started talking about Ipe, like in his face, it kind of looked like it upset him. Kind of well, he like, looked like, I want you on my he, jury. He looked like <laughs> his feelings were hurt. Yeah, pretty. He looks like yeah. a guy who trusted somebody and somebody abused that trust and stole $4.5 million. That's what it seems like to me. Yeah. So, yeah, good statement. Like, I, that just surprised. It, like, there's only so much I can say. And then he goes and. Tells the whole story. Now, the question is, does this just now go away? No. I don't think he's going to answer more questions about it. He won't answer any more questions. My guess also is he's that he's going to answer baseball questions. That's it. Sure. It depends on what they find. That's why he ended it at the end and saying, the season is starting. I'm going to let my lawyers handle this. Yeah. Uh, and that's as far as he's going to go with it. He doesn't want to talk about this anymore. Okay. I, I've, I've, you know, you, you don't like guests, um, but. I'll take the Ireland line. You don't like guests, but I think we should invite Ipe onto the show. <laughs> we, that would why be do awesome. You, why do you laugh? Well, uh, we can. I don't even know how to get in Would that not be him. fantastic? That well, would be go awesome. through that bookmaker in the valley. <laughs> right. Bowers? Go through Michael Bauer, Bowers, Bowers in the valley. He's got uh, Ipe's number. <laughs> it's on wow. speed dial. Be like, hey, you got Shohei money. <laughs> you got Shohei money. <laughs> got Shohei By the way, money. apparently that guy was telling people that he was getting money from Shohei. He was, like, advertising to promote the his- The bookmaker guy? Yeah, the bookmaker's oh, like, that Bowers guy's like, hey, I got Shohei Otani uh, working with me. Wow. Yeah, so he's out there spreading it. All right, we'll go to break. <laughs> That's I tell you, it's a fascinating That's, friggin' story. But, but I think, like you said, I think it's over. Where do you go from here? Yeah, it's a very good question. It's a very good over, question. Never over. This is going to go on for a long time. This is going to keep going on. We'll we'll continue to have this. All right, coming up next for you, it is going to be a really big week. Actually, it's been a big couple of weeks. Last week we were at uh, uh, we were at uh, Pizza Hut on Friday. Travis and Sliwa were correct. Uh, we were out on remote on Thursday. We Islands. did the uh, 
Yeah, Islands. Then we did the uh, show on. Well, we didn't do a show, but we had the pickleball thing. Now this week we've got multiple shows uh, that we're doing, uh, including Thursday at Clearman's Galley, uh, where John, where John Ireland's not going to be there. Uh, Demarco is, but I am being encouraged to drink. Yes. Yep. I want to see you get hammered. Can we? Talk I about really it next? do. Yeah, we'll talk about it next. Mason Ireland, Demarco's in for John. Seven ten ESPN. It's. Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcasts. Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcasts. Join us. Hi, Parker. What's up, Greg? Spring training. Hi, Parker. So- <laughs> Jeez. Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto's here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say? 9.30, 9.55? Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant, Travis Rogers, perhaps? Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX. Download it. Sports radio show in Los Angeles. The podcast, that is. Mason in Ireland, the number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles. The number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles. And we thank all of our podcast listeners for that. If you ever miss a moment, get your fill any time. Just search Mason in Ireland wherever you get your podcast. You didn't know what? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That show, hey, was a pretty good actor. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, really? Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm come kidding. on, Demarco. I'm now kidding. he's Marco negative. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of the day. No, I'm kidding. Wow, that was, Demarco. I believe I'm 100 percent coming in hot. 100. percent But look, if if a guy robbed you of anything, let alone four and a half million bucks, that was pretty chill of him to be that cool in a press conference. So you're saying he was acting chill? I would have gone Michael Irvin. I would have right. gone like sm- the so fire and really brimstone. Off, yeah. Absolutely, the dude stole four and a half million bucks from me. Yeah, he robbed me. I would have went nuts up there. They should teach a class in uh, PR where they use this situation and this statement as an example of how to handle a PR crisis. It, because look, his story yeah. is airtight. I completely buy the story completely. Now, other people will come in here and say, oh, you're being naive. You're sort of betting on this, all that. I, I completely believe the guy. Greg, today, you wanted to believe that he bet on baseball or bet on no, sports. I didn't want you to wanted believe. to believe he was in on it. In I, on it. I but didn't now, want to believe that. It, that's what it just made sense to me. That was my Occam's uh, razor. And that, after, that makes the most sense. And after the press conference. It was very believable. He went piece by piece by piece and walked you through the whole thing the only thing that i'm not too sure about is about ipe having access to his financial advisors is that something that he had access to originally before all of this was he constantly in touch with 
Shohei's financial he, the advisors. The only thing he said about that is Ipe has been stealing money from my account. He said I, I, he went to the financial advisors. Are they American and took it. or Japanese? I, I don't know. Okay, well, if he needs a translator, then I like to handle his finances. Then I would bet that Ipe had some sort of access to those people. Sure, that's the only thing that's yeah. kind of throwing me for a loop, but it sounds like if he did this before, if this was normal to, for Shohei to say, hey, Ipe, talk to my financial advisors, I need this, this, and this, or it has to go to this person, whatever it is, then him going and asking for 500 k is not not normal. Right. So to right. Keep, to, for him to do that makes sense. Yeah. I thought it was very, very well it was, done. It was very well done. How very many well phone done. calls would it take for you to send that, Greg 10 k um, if I asked you for 10K, like how many phone calls? Pick up a phone. Hey, it depends send, on the need. It depends on, yeah, it depends on the need. But I mean, how many phone Something calls would like, it take for that money to leave your account to go to his? One? One person you're talking depends to? Depends on the need. Okay. Yeah. If yeah, it yeah. was If it was something like for Riley or something, I think you'd do it. I would do but it. But yeah. I would never ask you. No. But like, well, you could. Hey, send said, Greg I could, I would, 10K. I would go to family. But yeah. Like, but 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 take take the premise. Sure. Yeah. If I really if you needed, needed ten thousand dollars to cover gambling bets, I would probably ask you or Ireland, and one of you would do it. Yeah, one of us would. Yep. But the the condition would be this is the last and only oh, time. Oh yeah, I'm never. Speaking We're going to clean you up again. your mess, yeah. and then you better quit gambling. Yep. Do you, Do you have a uh, assistant? Anybody you trust like that? Because we I guess we don't need translators. So but here's the thing. Do you have my, an assistant? Yeah. My partner Juan is a former CPA. He's an actor now, but he was a CPA. So he handles everything. Oh, so she hand he, I mean he So handles Greg all comes to you and says, I need let's let's go up. I need fifty K. Yeah. So you would call up Juan and say, Hey, send Greg fifty K. Send Greg fifty K. Okay. So he has access to your people. So if yes. they call if yep. he calls your people, it's like you're calling his people. Correct. Okay, that's how. That happens. That hap- that can happen to him. That can happen to anybody. That's that's what I was trying to prove. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No. It's I look. He, Shohei w- was completely believable, and it was all sounded very plausible. Yep. I think, like we said before, I don't think this is going away anytime soon. This is going to be a story for at least a year, if not longer. But as of right now, from it, I'm, I'm hoping that public opinion will allow Shohei to just kind of play baseball. I'll take right that now. bet. I bet this is this is it. Yeah, I do too. After that, this is it. You Where do you so? go from here? I th- I think at this point, you'll probably hear about charges against Ipe, yep. uh, both from the feds and the accusations from Shohei. Um, he has acknowledged, uh, Ipe acknowledged at one point that, yeah, Shohei knew nothing about it. Yep. So at this point, I just want to know... How many RBIs he's going to have on Thursday? <laughs> That's it. Right. <laughs> you know, he's in the lineup today. Oh, the for, for yeah. the Angels? Yeah, against the Angels. Completely that's cool. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, I just... Funny. Wow. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not... It's to be able to play through this is... I mean, he didn't play well yesterday, but that's because, you know, there's a lot on his mind. But it's... I think it's... Ipe has to get arrested now. That's the, that's to be the next thing that has to happen. They have to charge it? him and then yeah. arrest yeah. him. Yeah. After he does an that's interview with Mason said, in yeah. Ireland. <laughs> right. I think it's going to be tough to get him right He's in the book. Ipe's in the book, I think. Get the interview after he's arrested. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. From jail. Calling we'll, collect. We'll Drive accept the charges. Jail. Let's accept the charges. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, all right, so we're doing a live show on Thursday for opening day. We do an opening day show every year. Dodgers are taking on the Cardinals at Dodger Stadium in the afternoon. Um, and, by the way, Tyler Glasnow is getting the start in game one. Yep. Game two is Bobby Miller. Yep. And then the three hundred and twenty million dollar man, three twenty five, uh, Yamamoto is going to start Game Three. I'm surprised that Yamamoto, who had a bad spring and got lit up uh, in the game in Seoul, uh, is backed up to the third spot in the rotation. Are you surprised, Mister Dodger Blue? Yeah, I am surprised. He <laughs> they paying three hundred Dodger Blue review. Blue review. Yeah, I think it's it's wild to me that a guy making 325 million dollars that was we were talking about how he's the number one starter yes is now being pushed down to number three for a guy that is bobby miller's really good and has pitched great yesterday but he's still young i think he's still technically a rookie i don't know if he pitched too much last year but here's what here so it's amazing to me here's one angle on this that i was just thinking of so he's played in japan his whole career yamamoto yep Needs six, seven days off. He is now going to be in a major league baseball stadium where I'm sure as a kid he thought, I wonder if I'll someday play in major league baseball in the U.S. 
do you need a day or two to feel what it's like soak to it be, in soak it in and be in a big league stadium and be at major league baseball regular season games before you feel like you're as comfortable as you need to be to be able to pitch yeah and that's why i don't think that that start in seoul is like a big deal right it's like one step above a big deal because i mean a no deal sorry one yeah. step above no deal because he did pitch poorly and he needs to pitch and he's still tipping his pitches like travis and you have been saying yeah yeah so i think it is a, it is a big deal but he he's gonna be fine i think it's they're gonna figure it out they're gonna fix all of that and when he does he's gonna be great yeah so the rotation for the first couple of days of the season is glass now versus the cardinals on thursday bobby miller and friday night versus the cardinals uh, Yamamoto Saturday night versus the Cardinals. And then Sunday afternoon, it's Gavin Stone versus St. Louis. Monday, James Paxton versus the Giants. Uh, Gavin Stone had such a great spring. Are you surprised about that? The 4 5 switch? That. Yeah. That the lefty, the older lefty, is pitching is the number five. Is the number five. And you have a th- your two, three, four are all young. You know, the only time. The, and only one lefty at the very end? The only time the rotation really matters is the opening week of the season because after that it'll juggle it'll change the number one oh. will be against the number four and the number two will be against the number five and it doesn't really matter we care about the first five and then walker's going to come back clayton's going to right. come back exactly <laughs> right exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, all right so thursday we're live at clearman's galley in san gabriel want to see you out there demarco's going to be filling in for ireland mason's going to be hammered i apparently am supposed to am i really supposed to <laughs> yes you, do you man you're required. It's it, you're required to have at least two martinis, pre-show. Demarco says it. It has to happen pre-show. Pre-show two and martinis, the, and then we'll try to convince you to get the third one in at some point, oh. middle of the show. Yeah. So two, two right off the bat, and then we'll try to talk you into that third one. See, I'm such a lightweight with alcohol. Good. I'm hardcore with the other stuff. I think but we can I'm get lightweight four with them. alcohol. No, I think there's not could... going to be four martinis. We can goad him into four. We it's can't. Not not f- not four martinis. <laughs> you cannot goad me that much. Hey, uh, right now, be caller number seven at 877-710-ESPN. You win a pair of tickets to Fight Club OC. An amazing night of fights happening Thursday, April 4 at the Hangar in Costa Mesa. Plus, you qualify to win the Tequila Mandala Fight Night Experience, which includes ringside tickets, mandala, bottle service, and more. Caller number seven right now wins, and you can get your tickets to Fight Club OC at SoCalFights.com. Use promo code ESPNLA for 15 bucks off and if you want to win a pair right now be caller number 7877710 ESPN. All right, I have all this stuff planned for today. Uh and we haven't we it's been a lot of show hey. So in the meantime, let's do this. Um what are some good ways to respond to insults? I found an article about good and by the way, if you're around here at this station, you've got to be prepared to receive insults a lot. Uh, these are some responses to insults that you might try. That's coming up next for you. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. Don't miss.
afternoon. Sandwich between Travis and Sliwa and Sonato and Cap. Mason and Ireland continues now. So I've been using this Cut app, K-U-T-T. Yeah. Doing a lot of gambling. Well, doing a lot of gaming. Doing a lot of betting. Here it comes. And uh, Bergman, I got off to a very slow start. You did. On the Cut app. I, I lost and lost and lost. All of a sudden, NCAA tournament, I have found my niche in the world. <laughs> I am now, in the NCAA tournament uh, betting, I'm 11-4. and four. Ooh. 11 and 4. Now let me ask you something. Yeah. How many college basketball games this year did you watch? None. Yeah. So <laughs> it's guessing. He's just guessing. Well, no, he's but throw- he's <laughs> throwing darts and <laughs> having a great I'm day. Reading little, <laughs> I'm reading little blurbs. You're you're reading, but you're you throwing ne- darts. I'm reading blurbs. Yeah, yeah. Never seen a game. 11 and 4, I'm reading blurbs. I'll tell you what. Did you watch How much of it did you watch? Did you watch a lot of I NCAA wa- I, tournament? I watched quite a bit of it on Saturday. I did. Michigan State was on. Michigan State North Carolina, great game. Yeah, North Carolina. Yeah. That was that was a great game to watch. Yeah, I, I think uh, UConn. I saw UConn yeah. looks. Uh, they, I think it's like the UConn Invitational. They're really good. I won on them. Uh, laid all the points on that one. Um, if you want to bet, I just made a bet. In fact, I let's see. Somebody That's sent funny. me a bet. You go bet. from Shohei to this. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean, is that, is that weird to do? Like, is it what? weird to talk about betting after we just are, like, condemning EK job. for betting? Like, no, be, let's be honest. Betting. We're not going to an illegal book. No, no, this is, totally legal. this is completely legal and right. on the money. Right. It's just like, love it. it just seems odd, but it's good. I, I, I love this app. Yeah, I, I, got, great. Yeah. I got a dime on the Hawks uh, dime. plus 10 and you a half a over dime. Boston. <laughs> I got a dime on the Hawks. You got the lingo. Yeah. I like it. Me and EP. What does that say about Gambling me? Fools. By the way, go download yeah. the Cut app, K-U-T-T, and uh, sign up for the social group that we've got going on. You can get a 10% deposit bonus and sign up for uh, our group, and we, we're talking crap. In what there. does that say about me About me or about us? Uh, he has a believable face. Shohei. Shohei? Yeah. Doesn't he look believable to you? He does look believable. Yeah. That's in fact, what, yeah, that's what B said, right? He I, looks believable. Yes. I, I think this is the thing about Shohei. One of the reasons why he's such a big star, uh, other than the talent, is that he, he the camera loves him. Yeah. he. Uh, the camera loves Shohei Otani. What are they, uh, he's got a great big smile. Yeah. Uh, he looks like he's having fun when he's playing. Um, I think that's part of his He's pretty charisma. like Ali. He's pretty like De La Hoya. Yeah. They just, the camera loves him. Loves him. Yeah, he's yeah. that guy. So, One yeah. of the reasons why he's such an uh, an international star. All right, so I wanted to throw this out there. Um, I came across this article. This is one of the things I wanted to get to with you. Um, how to respond to insults. Now, let me first say that if you work at 710 ESPN, you will be insulted probably five times before you even get in the door. Correct. I mean, it is. this is like insult central. Uh, Bergman, a lot of insults. A lot of insults? Morales yeah. leaving the room. A lot of insults at <laughs> in this place. I ran out of the room. I mean, there's a lot of insults, but, but it's all in love. It's all in f- good fun. All okay. in love. Yeah. Like ribbing. Like uh, DeMarco saying, I have no friends. That's ribbing. I did not say that. I said, do you have friends? <laughs> yeah, do you have friends? Is a good there's a difference. <laughs> that's that's Semantics. a subtle insult. So here are some ways to respond to insults, DeMarco. according to friend. Time Magazine. Okay, so somebody insults you. How about this? Hey, flag on the play. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to respond with that? Yeah, you res- somebody insults you, you say, "Hey, flag on the play." No. Uh, no? Okay. Okay. How about, this? <laughs> uh, How about this? Thanks, but I'm not accepting unsolicited feedback. That's pretty good. No. I actually think I like that's that a pretty one good one. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good. good. One. Yeah. I mean, you that sounds like some- accept something you say on the phone or not. Yeah. Okay. How about this one I think is really good. It's a think. You got to think on this one. Oh boy. So, Greg, insult me. Your shirt is ridiculous today. Looks ugly. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. That's a good one. That's a really <laughs> good one. It immediately base. turns it around and makes the Actually, other guy think. I, I like your shirt, too. by the way. I think it looks <laughs> yeah, good. No, I got this from my mom for <laughs> my birthday. Um, Ooh, all right. That's good. That's could, good. Could you repeat that? I don't think I heard you correctly. Then you have to repeat the insult. And it's always it, harder the second time to repeat the insult. Well, at the same time, like if you have to explain your joke, it really doesn't work. It does. That's like saying, say it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. See, but that's an angry say it again. Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. How about this one? <laughs> I wonder why you feel comfortable saying that to me. Oh, wow. I mean, you're getting too serious for a joke. <laughs> I might insult you again. This yeah. is how right. I deal with I insult. might go after you I again. I might insult okay. you again after that. Yeah. How about, you should come with a warning label. 
That's See now good. that's kind of a joke. That's yeah, diffusing. Like that you sound yeah. you sound like at uh, the Seinfeld episode, the jerk store called and they ran out of you. There you go. <laughs> wow. That's I from think Seinfeld. You I think my one? favorite wow. one is, "Are you okay?" That's a good one. Yeah, because that makes him think. I mean, what's that's wrong with me. Wow, and yeah, the look you me. just gave him because it worked on Greg. Yeah, are you it okay? did work. I said, "Yeah, I'm great." See, yeah, are you okay? But you have to answer that. Yeah, after an insult, yeah. you feel bad after that. Anybody that's... going across the street to the uh, NCAA tournament uh, regional, uh, the the uh, the games at Crypto? No. Do you know what the games are? I know North Carolina's in one of them. Ooh. Yeah, James Worthy apparently is going to go uh, one seed North Carolina versus four seed Alabama on Thursday, and then number two seed Arizona versus number six seed Clemson. Who do you have coming out of that uh, region, Bergman? Uh, I had UNC going out of that one. Okay, so they're still in it. Hubert yep. Davis, right? That's yep. the coach. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hubert well, Davis. Hubert Davis. Is yeah, he yeah. the coach is still? He, is he? Still yeah, he, at least he was on Saturday. Okay, then yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> I know. Unless he's... he got fired. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. He's yeah. still got the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's okay. still got the yeah, job. It is. Look at that. <laughs> this is how much Hubert I know Davis. about college basketball that's not UCLA. Yeah. I, a decent <laughs> pro player, right? Oh, yeah. Decent Hubert pro Davis player. Davis is a good yeah, player, yeah. Yeah. Made a name for himself. So that's going on on Thursday. Is anybody from the station going? No. Um, I think someone that would go is Mark Cates. He went to Arizona. He's a oh, big wildcat. Oh, that's right. So Cates. I'm sure he would go. Yeah, he'd probably go. Cates is from Arizona? Yeah. Oh, my God. I Leading... got something on Instagram. Someone sent me something on Vanish Mode. Why would they send it to me on Vanish Mode? What is mode? Vanish Mode? It's when it disappears when you close the chat. So isn't it like Story Mode? No, no, no. No, Story Mode hangs around no, for 24 no, it's, hours, right? It's a right? DM, and it's from someone named Michael, and it says, Olsen, really? He's not the best. I don't know what that means. And what? So what's it mean that it's going to vanish? It's in vanish mode. It means that if I go out of it and I go back into it, it's gone. That means he doesn't really believe what he says. <laughs> yeah, right. He right. doesn't want evidence. I don't he even doesn't want there to about. be any evidence that right. he attacked Greg yeah. Olson. Disappearing yeah. ink. Oh, yeah. oh, Greg Olson. Greg Olson. Oh, I have yeah, yeah, no yeah. idea what he was. You talking. love yeah. Greg Olson. You Greg hate Tony Olson. Romo. I like, I like Greg Olson. And you hate Tony Romo. Yeah. But they do the same thing. Greg Olson is really good. They don't do. They do the same thing. Come on. Like, technically, they do. <laughs> no, no. One puts They're... in the work and one does not. Exactly. You don't think Romo works at it? I don't. In fact, there are yeah. multiple stories that have come out about I keep him hearing. I, but I, I've heard prepared. something wicked about those stories, though. Like, the source of those stories. It's, like, really weird. Have you heard, like, some where some of these negative stories have come from? No. Oh, yeah. Where have they come from? From other people in the business. Oh, well, imagine. Where like, else sabotaging. Where they come from? Yeah, well, yeah. Or sabotaging or... He's sabotaging, so they're talking Correct. about him. Yeah, I just I heard if that. If I was I Nance, I would not want to work with I could not Tony believe Roman. that when I heard that. Yeah. That's shocking. All right, uh, coming up next for you, a brand new sports documentary coming out in April. Normally, I don't get into sports documentaries all the time, but this one I will absolutely watch. I'll tell you what it is coming up next. DeMarco is in for Ireland, 710 ESPN. Yeah, you, Jamar. Hey, did you know it could take up to 11 weeks on average to hire for an open position? That's almost two and a half months. That's too long. So if you're hiring for a growing business, business, do you really have that kind of time to wait? I know I don't. So if you're listening right now, I've got some advice for you. Stop waiting and start using ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find qualified candidates for all your roles pronto. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash LA. ZipRecruiter uses powerful matching technology to quickly find and send you the most qualified people for your roles. You can check out people at ZipRecruiter, uh, check out the people they send, and if you really like one or two, you can personally invite them to apply with just one click, which may make them apply even sooner. Plus, here's how quickly ZipRecruiter can help t- uh, help you to get someone hired. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter can get a quality candidate within the first day. So speed up your hiring process with ZipRecruiter. See why 3.8 million businesses have come to ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. Just go to this exclusive web address. Try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash LA. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash LA. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. You never have to miss a moment of LA's mega sports station. Mega sports station. Get the all-new ESPN LA app. Just search ESPN LA in your app store or Google Play. Download, tap, and bam. Bam. You've got 710 ESPN in the palm of your hand. Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcasts. Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. 
LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcast. Join us. Hi, Parker. What's up, Greg? Hi, Parker. What's up? <laughs> Little uh, Otani and Dodger Blue. Why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Let's start over. All right, Parker. Dodger Spring Training. That's right, Greg. Otani and Dodger Blue. Yeah, Yamamoto is here. Pretty excited about that one. Tons of new faces. I mean, Kike's back. Yes, it's great. Maybe we should talk about it on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. I like that idea. What do you say? 9:30, 9:55. Right, leading right into Travis and Sliwa. Get a couple guests. Maybe uh, Marcus Grant. Travis Rogers, perhaps? Yep, just have a bunch of people come in. Maybe Clinton Yates will even find his way in. Oh, you know, you always want to have the handsome man uh, president right there. Absolutely. All right, well, I think we should do that. We'll do it every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9.55 on the ESPN LA YouTube channel. Thanks to LAX. Seven Ten ESPN. Don't get it twisted, yo. The most downloaded sports radio show in Los Angeles. The podcast that is. Mason in Ireland, the number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles. The number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles, and we thank all of our podcast listeners for that. If you ever miss a moment, get your fill anytime. Just search Mason in Ireland wherever you get your podcast. So the Blue Review is on every morning at 9.30. Is that yes, right, Bergman? Yes, at 9.30 to 9.55, right before Travis and Sliwa. Now, yes. did you do a lot of uh, Shohei on the podcast so today? today what we did was we started off, we went through the rotation for about two minutes. Yep. And then we went right into Shohei, right into Shohei. and Ipe. Yeah. That was, it's the only thing to talk about. And we'll talk about the press conference tomorrow, and then we might not talk that much more about it. Right. And unless there's I thought it wasn't going away. Information. <laughs> I don't think it's going away, but it's going to be something like it has to continually come up. So if you missed about an hour ago, Shohei Otani addressed the media at Dodger Stadium. It was a big uh, group of uh, media media circuits out there. Um, he said, in short, he's shocked that someone he knows so well has done this to him, speaking about uh, Ipe. Uh, he says he's never bet on baseball, never went to a bookmaker to bet on sports. Ipe has been stealing money from his account and told lies. Uh, again, uh, Shohei says, I never bet on sports and have never sent money to a bookmaker. I'm beyond shock. Hard to verbalize how I'm feeling at this point. The season is going to start. I'm going to let my lawyers handle everything. I'm participating in all the investigations that are going on. I look forward to focusing on the season. Uh, and uh, he's ready for baseball. But that's, again, this is the story I believed all along. I always felt like Ipe was a guy that embezzled money from Shohei without Shohei's knowledge and steered it towards an illegal bookmaker. That is the the story that uh, Shohei uh, told today, and I found it to be really convincing. Yeah, I found him to be very convincing. Like you said, you could teach off that press conference. That's how you answer questions. And like he said, the thing that got me was he said, look, 
And we were expecting him to say nothing, right? Right. Just read something off a card and get up and walk out. He said, look, there's only so much I can say. And then he gets up and spills the beans. He tells you A to Z. I didn't do it. I didn't bet on sports. He did it. He stole from me. I'm upset about it. Right. I wish I could have been in that hotel room. Didn't he say he went back to the hotel? Went room? back to the hotel, and uh, then Ipe explained everything to him, and oh. and Shohei was like, "What? Let's interview that hotel. I, I'm sure there was something, some furniture moving in there." What time is Ipe coming on tomorrow? He's gonna come on at two fifteen. Two fifteen tomorrow. I, I, I called his people, and Ipe, nice. He told me he was. He's very believable. Very yeah. So I'm sure he's gonna come. <laughs> he's very truthful. <laughs> right. He says so. Come on at two fifteen. Yeah, two fifteen. Hail flick. Yeah, probably. He'll Safeguard flick. your stuff. Yeah, come on. Probably. Um, but the thing that I liked about that that press conference was that it didn't sound like it was read from a script. Like it probably was a little bit like most, you know, most of the statements that get made. You know, that's an interesting point. It didn't feel like he was reading from a script. It felt like he was just going, he he said, I have something to read off of, but he looked like he just went through the the, points, every points throughout time and got to where he needed to go. Yeah. It didn't feel You've taken like public a, speaking, right? I mean, a lawyer wrote there, it. There's notes on a card and you kind of riff in between. I, I mean, I just make stuff up. You just make stuff up the whole time. The whole time. Come on, you got to have notes. You, I have some notes. That's probably yeah, what that's he probably did. What he, he had, had notes. He, yeah, he had, uh, he had bullet points. Yeah, and then he riffed on it. Yeah. And I don't think he told more or less than what we knew, right? Right, right. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get one thing in. By the way, Game of Games is coming up. It is my game today, and I can tell you I think it's going to be a fiasco. It could be the worst game we've ever played. Good. I don't want it to be the Harry Potter game anymore. It's not you know, this <laughs> the may, Harry Potter game. This may overtake the game. Harry Potter game as the worst game ever on this show. Look, Harry Potter game was either loved or hated. That's what I want. Loved yeah. it. Thank it you, was, Brian. It was hated. Believe me. <laughs> you, would, you, you would have loved it, Demarco. If you went, if you went to uh, Twitter, believe me, it was, was it hated. all about Harry Potter? Yeah. I know nothing about Harry See? Potter. It's ridiculous. Zero. But Less ridiculous. than zero. How many? How many times do you write a game and we know absolutely nothing about the subject? Uh, from time to time. Uh, most of the time, most of the time especially yeah. Michael's games or Pepe's yeah, games. Yeah, I mean, oh, I'll, I'll guess Hogwarts. All right. <laughs> so uh, Matthew Stafford has a documentary coming out. Have yeah. you seen this? Yeah, yeah. I think this is the answer to the quarterback show. Well, this is it's a movie that focuses on the back half of the Rams season when the team returned from the bye week. So yeah. it starts after the bye week when they're three and six. <laughs> Then they followed him. They needed to win almost every game to make the playoffs, um, and it dives into this intense period when the Rams hosted two games in five days, all-access look into Stafford's preparation and life leading up to the games. Uh, it's called Locked In, and it's going to air on the NFL Network Thursday, April the 18th. Are you in on this? Of course, man. He, he's special. I'm, gl- I'm glad the world gets to see this, or more people get to see what Matthew Stafford is really like because he was up there in Detroit for years. All you knew about him was numbers and failure. And then he comes here and he wins. So I'm glad the door is opening up so you get to see who he really is as a leader. Here's what my question is. Who decided that when they were three and six coming off the bye, let's make a documentary? I Okay, so that's what – is this the answer to the quarterback? Because I, rem, I heard – that they were having trouble filling all those spots. They, they're not even doing it this year. Right. They're receivers. receivers instead some of, of those, quarterbacks. Some of those quarterbacks thought it was a little bit invasive. But, so this but, is what they decided to do. But think about this. Okay, I'm yeah. a document documentary guy. Uh, Rams are 3-6, and six and they're coming off their bye week. Who looks at that and says, oh, yeah, let's do a documentary? I'm sure if they're if, terrible. Yeah. yeah. they The season is going sideways. What guy had the visionary ability to say, oh, you know, I think they're going to pull off a run in the second half and I'm going to make a movie about it? Uh, I, th- great question. Could it come from him? I don't know. But I'm sure when the season's going south, you'll try just about anything you can to take the focus off of losing. Because at three and six, I wrote the team off. Right. So whoever thought of it and, and thought this is a good time to start it actually hit the lottery. Yeah, they did. Yeah, big time. Uh, Bergman, you in on the uh, Matthew Stafford documentary? Come on, locked in. Let's do it. No. Come on. <laughs> Are you a Stafford hater too? No. Oh, I don't mind. I don't, no, I don't mind Stafford He's at all. He's not a sports I, documentary guy. I'm okay. just so sick of all these sports documentaries. There's I don't care so how many times many. Ireland tells me to watch the Patriots documentary. I, I'm never going to do it. Why? <laughs> and you know no. what? You know what? Really? What he, he said, watch episode 10. It's the one where the Rams lose to the Patriots. I'm like, why do I want to relive that? I spent all this money to fly to Atlanta to go see the Rams lose to the Patriots. Why do I want to see a movie about how it happened? Yeah, it's all this ridiculous. Is way back. This is the New Orleans one, right? 2018, yeah. Oh, it's it's starts there i thought it was the one with brady his first start 
Uh, That's the beginning of the goes, dynasty. It goes 10 years. Oh, wow. Okay. So in cl- the 10th episode is apparently where they beat the Rams in the Super Bowl in Atlanta. The only documentary I got left to watch is the Redeem team. Yeah. I think I yeah. actually did watch that. I think that was I a while ago. They all blend it? together. Oh, do they? Okay. I think, yeah. I, the only I did watch a documentary this weekend though, what, what and it was watch? really good. It's on HBO, and it's about like your childhood. I forgot what it's called. Oh, Qu- Quiet on the set. Oh, oh it is What's creepy it and Nickelodeon. Weird. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. And just the the. You haven't heard stuff that no. happens. At you haven't heard Nickelodeon. anything about Nickelodeon, no, like child this. stars and all that. Oh, oh really? It was yeah, yeah, creepy. Yeah. Really but, dark. Like that was a huge part of my childhood, and to see how that all kind of worked out in the behind the scenes. Interesting. Oh. Did you watch it, DeMarco? Oh yeah, it was I, crazy. I watched right? it with my oldest daughter. She was a kid, like through your childhood. Right. So all that stuff we saw, then you see it again through like different eyes you're like oh my god it was right there in your face the whole time yeah you actually like all the things you see i'm like no way right. that's wow. what's going on oh yeah it's crazy oh it was very very sexual and adult f- that we didn't even realize okay oh it's gross i watched uh the vegas documentary have you seen that the no. vegas cnn documentary. is doing a documentary called vegas Okay. And it's like a six episode documentary about the history of Vegas, how it started, Ooh. the entertain the Rat Pack era, uh, the Elvis oh, cool. era, the not that school, that's uh, not cool. the the seventies era. Apparently, yeah. uh, Dolly Parton was a gigantic star in Vegas. Wow, um, the the mob and how they were involved in Vegas. It's very good. It's a really? CNN documentary called Vegas. It's on Max. What's the guy? The, the Mo Green guy. It's not Mo Green. That's the guy. Mo that, Green is the guy from The Godfather. Yeah, but the, who's uh, the real guy? Bugsy. Bugsy Siegel. Did they talk about him? Let me tell you something. Yeah. This was surprising. Because I saw the movie Bugsy, I always assumed he was the very first guy there and built a casino, and then everybody else followed and started. He, They were already they already had gambling in Vegas when he moved in. There were already casinos when he broke ground on the Flamingo. So he, does, he doesn't deserve as much credit for Vegas as he gets. Are you calling Warren Beatty a liar? Calling... <laughs> Bullworth calling him a liar. Bullworth is the best. <laughs> it's a great movie. I was, great about, movie. I was thinking about this this weekend because yeah. I was watching a show with Annette Benning, and she's he's now eighty five. Wow, really? Eighty five is Warren Beatty. Um, he's but Bullworth is a super mm-hmm. underrated movie. Wasn't that um your girl? It was who was the girl in it? Uh, in what? In Bullworth. Why am I blanking on I, You got me. Uh, Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Yeah, Halle Berry. Halle Berry, she was great. Man. Oh, she was great. Yeah, I'd You say- love Halle Berry, don't you? Why would you put that on me? Why yeah, would you why, say that publicly? Why would you say Why that? would you guess that I love Halle Berry? Yeah, why no, not? Because yeah. we've had the conversation. Because we've had the conversation. DeMarco, I do you about- love Halle Berry? No. Really? Bergman, why'd you pin that on me? Why because would you think I love Halle Berry? Because we've talked about Halle Berry. No, we haven't. Are you why would you with me? You're why would kidding? Me. Of course, I love Ali Berry. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. You're such a jerk. <laughs> I was like, I know I've had this conversation on the air with you about Halle Berry. Excellent job, Punking Bird. My man. Yeah. I'm throwing stuff at you now. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next for you is Game of Games. It's going to be a terrible game. Is somebody from the afternoon playing? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Cares. Somebody. We'll see. <laughs> Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. The fun way to drive home is with Sedano and Cat. You're the worst, man. <laughs> What you think? I'm you're the, the best? worst. You're the worst. Don't you look at it the other way. You're, you're the, the worst. worst. Think, instead of thinking I'm the worst, think I'm the best. God, you're the worst. Sedano and Cap. Next at 4 p.m. on 710 ESPN. At the Los Angeles International Airport, changes are arriving daily to reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. The LAX Economy parking structure is now open with thousands of smart parking spaces, as well as hundreds of electric vehicle charging stations. Modernized terminals have biometric gates for faster boarding. A new facility will have all major rental car brands under one roof. And soon, the People Mover train will connect travelers to LA Metro. Info at FlyLAX. Dot com slash transforming LAX. Hi, I'm Garth Blumenthal, Unstoppable Automotive Group. If the car of your dreams is not the car in your garage, let's talk. We're one of the fastest growing auto groups in California, representing Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Polestar, Volvo, Jaguar, and Land Rover. And our huge buying power allows us to pass those savings on to you. Plus, we're subsidizing lease rates starting as low as 2%, so we can lower your monthly payment. Visit unstoppablegroup.com for a location near you. Unstoppable Automotive Group, building relationships one guest at a time. 
Yo, 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 LA, what up? It's Uncle Artie here from Pernia Law. Just this past year, the state of California, the county of Los Angeles, and myself and my firm, Pernia Law, raised $10 million to build a homeless shelter for 200 homeless women, children, and men. I'm here with Matt Barnes in the studio, a fellow Bruin, to tell you a little bit more about what we did. Artie, you've been amazing not only in the community, but saving people money and making them money. So if you're ever in the jam, make sure you hit up my man, Uncle Artie, and the Pernia Law family. Yo, I'm I'm not into business of just making money. Everyone looks at attorneys and thinks that's what they want. They're just in it to make money for themselves. I care about my clients. I care about my community. So everyone remember, whenever you support Pernia Law, you're also supporting this city because we give back as much as we can. Just ask Matt Barnes. Uncle Artie is the only guy I go to if I'm ever in a tight situation. Trust me and Unc and call 844-DIAL-UNC. That's 844-DIAL-UNC. Or hit him up on the gram at uncle.artie. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-807-3715. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-807-3715 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-807-3715. 800-807-3715. 800-807-3715. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited-time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free, a $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. We expect our information in real time. U.S. Med carries continuous glucose monitors, which provide real-time readings of blood glucose levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurers. So call 888-665-0696 today for a free insurance and Medicare benefits check as easy as... That's 888-665-0696. 710 ESPN. And it is time for Game of Games on the number one sports radio show in L.A., Mason and Ireland. Game Game of of Games. Games. Game of Games presented by CallJacob.com. CallJacob. Everyone loves a fighter, but in this town, winning matters, especially after an accident. So remember, anyone can fight, but CallJacob.com is here for you when you need a big win. After an accident, go to CallJacob.com or call 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. We got the jingle. Call Jacob. Jacob. Thank you. Game of Games time. Take it away, Mace. All right, here we go. It is Game of Games time brought to you by the great Jacob Imrani. And Cappy is on the line. Cappy, what's going on, man? Hi, Mace. How are you today? Everything is great. Feeling feeling good. We got a little uh, Shohei news out of the way. I'm sure you guys are going to deal with that today. We are. We are. Big D. What's well, up, Cap? The other Big D. Right on. What's yeah. up, baby? All right. Yo, what's going on, man? Same old stuff, different day. All right. So, uh, Cappy, this game I've predicted is going to be a disaster. Okay. Why is that? Is it your game? It's my game. I okay, got it. <laughs> and I'm not sure that it's going to work. Okay. So, uh, DeMarco Bergman, Brian Cappy are playing. Uh, this is called the definition game. Oh, boy. I'll give you two words. You tell me which matches the correct definition. So, we'll do okay. one. Okay. Oh, Here we go. God. Oh, boy. <laughs> your word choices in, the, in number one are abjure and obfuscate. Okay. Abjure and obfu- obfuscate. The definition is formally reject or disavow a belief. Is that abjure or obfuscate? I can't say you that can't word. Say obfuscate. Word. Obfuscate. Uh, which one is it, DeMarco? Uh, the first one. DeMarco says abjure. Uh, Bergman? Abjure. Abjure. Brian? Uh, obfuscate. Obfuscate? Uh, yeah, let's go that one. All right, it's a hard word. And Cappy? 
I'm going to be a little difficult and just want the definition one more time. Uh, formally reject or disavow a belief. I'm going with Brian. I'm going with the second one. Uh, the correct answer is abjure. Yeah. Abjure. All right, Marco. Obfuscate means to hide or Still make unclear. Jerk. Yeah, I've heard this. Judge Judy says it a lot. Number two, your word choices are diaphanous and ligatory. Okay. So thin as to transmit light. It is either diaphanous or ligatory. Bergman. So Di thin as to transmit light. Diaphanous. Bergman says diaphanous. Uh, Brian. Uh, diaphanous. Diaphanous. Cappy. I, I also think diaphanous. Diaphanous, Demarco. It is diaphanous. Oh, look! Look at Demarco coming in. Yes, it, it is diaphanous. It is diaphanous. Yeah. yeah. Using the way, a sentence. Ligatory totally made up. <laughs> ligatory was made up. Yeah, made up. There's no. Such I was word. pretty close to going with ligatory. Uh, yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your word choices are enervate and a spouse. Enervate and a spouse. The definition: strive to equal or match. Is that to enervate or to a spouse, Brian? Uh, spouse. A spouse. Uh, Cappy. Innervate. Innervate. Uh, DeMarco. Innervate. <laughs> Innervate. Bergman. Innervate. Innervate is the correct answer. Yes, innervate is to strive to equal or match. We've got Bergman 3, DeMarco 3, Cappy 2, and Brian 1. What are, are we, we sure? Is... <laughs> yeah, we're sure. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? Well, I'm just saying that it's like it's hard for me to do math and words at the same time. <laughs> Okay. Well, I just told you the math, so you just worry about the words. Right. Okay. Here's number four. The word the the game isn't quite as bad as I thought no, it was. No, no, it's be. fine. No, okay. so far it's pretty good. All right. Your word choices are extol and expunge. Extol okay. and expunge. Okay. The definition: remove by erasing or crossing out. It is either to extol or to expunge. Cappy. It is extol. Extol. DeMarco. Expunge. Expunge. Uh, Bergman. Expunge. Expunge. Brian. Extol. Uh, it is expunge. Yeah. Like when you have your, your record, record. Ex yeah. expunged, yep. yeah. you have it erased. Yeah. Uh, extol means to praise. Oh. All right. Cappy, really? uh, you've got two. Bergman's got four. DeMarco's got four. We're at number five. That means that, uh, is it true that Bergman and DeMarco have run the table so far? So I think far. So. Yeah. Number five, your word choices are mm -hmm. heterogeneous. And inchote, heterogeneous and inchote. The definition is consisting of elements that are not of the same kind. It is either heterogeneous or inchote. Demarco, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Bergman, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Brian, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Cappy, the other one. Inchote. Yeah, <laughs> Cappy. <laughs> Should have run with the crowd there. Hetero. Heterogeneous is the right answer. Awesome. Inchote means only partly in existence. Uh, so there you have that. What no. was the definition? Heterogeneous? Yeah. Consisting of elements that are not of the same kind. Mm. Number six, word choices. Licentious and largesse. Licentious and, and largesse. The definition, liberally bestowing gifts. That is either licentious or largesse. Bergman. Licentious. Liberally bestowing gifts. Largesse. Largesse. Brian. Uh, Licentious. Licentious. Cappy. Yes, yeah, Sanchez. Licentious, DeMarco? Largesse. Largesse is the right answer, yes. Largesse is... Uh, All right, DeMarco. Yeah. Liberally that bestowing Washington, gifts. Uh, I've heard this education. before. Yeah, Licentious yeah. is lacking moral discipline. All right, number seven. That's what I thought the definition was. Yeah, not the one we were going for. <laughs> DeMarco, six. Bergman, six. Brian, two. Cappy, two. Uh, words are tough. <laughs> words, <laughs> words, words are, are tough. tough. Yeah. <laughs> Please pull yourself. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. That's, that's a good drop. A, that's a good I thing. like that. Your, uh, your uh, word words are your word choices are <laughs> trenchant and truculent. Trenchant and truculent. The definition is having forcefulness in thought. Is that trenchant or is that truculent? Demarco, you have a lead. Which one? Trenchant. Trenchant. Uh, Bergman. I had trenchant also. Trenchant. Uh, Brian. Uh, trenchant. Trenchant. Cappy. The word truculent is a word that Howard Cosell used one time. Does anybody he remember that? Truculent. Yeah, he said he's and and somebody was in the booth with him and said, "I don't know what that means exactly." So you know what? Just for the goof of it all, I'm already getting destroyed. I'm going to say truculent. Yeah, of course you're wrong. Uh, the correct answer <laughs> is trenchant. <laughs> truculent means defiantly aggressive. He's being truculent. Mm -hmm. um, all right, number it's uh, Demarco and Bergman seven all. Oh, it was yep. Muhammad Ali. He said, "If that's good, it's me." That's what it was. You're being truculent, Muhammad. 
He said, I don't know what that means, but if it's good, it's me. There you go. I think that's an actual. And and on that note, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> See, you need me in this game, Mace. Who's nah, going to come up with things you. like truculent Muhammad Ali? Uh, correct. You you play along if you want. Uh, Brian, you're also out. Bam. Words are hard. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. Your that word, should be the name of the game. Your word choices are skiss, S-K-I-S-S, and zephyr. Okay. Skiss and zephyr. The definition is a slight wind. Is that a skiss or a zephyr? We'll start with Bergman. Zephyr. A zephyr. It's DeMarco. Skiss. Oh, dang it. I am sorry. The correct answer is a zephyr. Oh, hey! nice, nice, nice. I thought nice. I've heard that on the weather channel. Skiss <laughs> is a made-up word. S K I S. Skiss is a made-up word. There's okay. no such thing. What? So it's Bergman 8 and DeMarco 7. Nice. Yeah, how many are left? One left. One left. Come on. Going to have to go different here, Bergman. I'm, I'm in the lead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, DeMarco, you're going to have to go different. Number right. nine. Your word choices are veracity and vicissitude. Veracity and vicissitude. Okay. The definition is a variation in circumstances or fortune. Is that veracity or is that vicissitude? Bergman. I don't think that's veracity. V vicissitude. Vicissitude. DeMarco, you got to go the, the other, other one. one. Yeah. Uh, the correct answer is... Vicissitude. Yeah, yeah veracity. That would, that was veracity is truthfulness. Yeah. Yes. yes. With much veracity. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, hey, it, wasn't, it wasn't that such was good. a disaster. That was good. Oh, we got a good month. Oh, it's worth two today. Oh, you're right. It oh, is worth two. Oh, look at that. And with that, I have four. So Bergman four, Ireland four, Brian four, Mason three, Laura one, Andy one. Okay, so my game's out of the way. Yep. That means we have till Friday with everything worth two. Uh, do the uh, tiebreaker just for fun. Just throw out a number. How many words are currently in the Merriam-Webster dictionary? How many words are in the dictionary? DeMarco, take a shot. 25,000. 25,000. Cappy? 75,000. Uh, Bergman? We'll go in the middle. Let's go with 48,322. Okay, Brian? Million. Um, you went high, <laughs> <laughs> but you, the rest of you guys went low. It's 470,000. 470, I win. 000. Wow. Yeah. I, uh, Cappy claimed that win. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do. take that one. You it's the only that. one I got right. That. You own that, man. That's a lot of yeah. words. You own that. All right. Uh, is it you and uh, Shadano today? Yeah, he's walking in right now. He's walking in. Excellent. Right. Let's hit the super stage. AM 710 Los Angeles. KRDC AM 1110 Pasadena, Los Angeles. K256 CX 99.1 FM Pasadena, Los Angeles. It's the greatest segment in L.A. sports radio history. Radio history. Oh, my God. When the shows come together for magic on the radio. It will only grow stronger. Super Cross Talk. Are we ready for Sedano and Cap to join Mason in Ireland? Super Cross Talk begins. Super Cross Talk. Presented by Coors Light. Coors Light. Made to chill. It's time for... Super Cross Talk. Na, 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 na. There we go. Gang's all here, and DeMarco's in for Ireland. And yeah. Saturday, unfortunately, the pickleball turned out to be a washout. A lot of people showed up, and we appreciate everybody being there. Uh, but uh, we never got to play, despite the fact that uh, Morales kept saying, well, the radar shows that there'll be a window between 11.15 and 11.25. Well, every half an hour. Uh, to his credit, though, um, I was also on the Weather Channel app, and it oh, did, were you? And it kept updating, and it kept saying that rain will be over at ten thirty, at eleven, eleven thirty. It, it, so it just kept moving. It was uh, not to go all Dallas rains on everyone, but there was this big cell, uh huh, and it was literally riding on the coast, uh, not the coast, but like alongside Fountain Valley. Wow! I drove on the four hundred five three miles away, two miles away, and it was sunny, completely yeah. dry. Yeah, yeah, crazy. It's so yeah. unfortunate, though, uh, DeMarco, I'll tell you, because George and I, speaking of Muhammad Ali earlier, you know, we pulled he a total... He was truculent. Right, we pulled a rope-a-dope on you last week. A rope-a-dope? What do you That's mean? That's right. Well, you and Beto kicked our ass, but you don't really think we were giving any effort, do you? I mean, oh, we, yeah, I do. No, no, we set it up so that you guys would be overly confident, and then you would go tell everybody, Sonato and Cap are horrible. I don't believe that for They're one so second. They're so bad. Yeah. I don't believe that for one second. Yeah, we had a whole game no, plan. No, no, no. I was like, George, let's make sure we let these guys be super confident. Let's lose. I saw your face on every point you scored. You were not letting us win. No, we did. Come on now. Mm. Stop that. George, is that true? You know, Cappy is a bit diabolical that way. Oh, you think he You mean was... Cappy did it, not you. 
Well, my back was killing me. So, yeah. like, <laughs> oh, I my God. Now, Sean, yeah, I you played a lot to get... Were you bummed that you didn't get to show off That's your... Great no, I wasn't skills? bummed because my back is still stiff. From what? From pickleball? No, I threw it out last week on oh, Thursday. No. And then tr played with you guys a week later. Oh. And then it got worse after that. After I, it, I thought it was fine, it yeah. got worse. So Saturday would have been literally me on all... I had taken three a leave and a muscle relaxer oh, just to get through the event. Oh, my God. Just wow. to get through the pickleball well, I hope we're going to still keep playing. No, we, we are. are. Yeah. My back, yeah, yeah my we're back one year away out. from doing it again. <laughs> no, no, no. no you and I can keep playing. We live right Good. by each other. It's great but, exercise. It's but, fun. you know, I was dealing with injury, too, because I had the uh, stationary bike accident. Right, that's true. You fell off trying to pet I your dog. I was stoned while I was trying to pet my dog and riding the assault bike with the arms going like It just went right down. Damn. You fell off a stationary bike? It was. It, well, it's not completely stationary because the arms are going back and forth. You know, like an assault bike? You're the first I've ever heard that yeah. got hurt on a stationary happens. bike. It happens. Wow. I'm, I'm recovering. Incredible. Thank you. But um, I want to say something. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, the pickleball was canceled. Yeah. Which was a bummer because everybody was there. People had worked out. They trained. Yep. You know, people were in the parking lot hitting pickleballs back and forth to each other, thinking that they were getting ready to play. And, you know, all of the great partners of the radio station, people that come to mind, like the Island Bays. Pizza you know, Hut. Or Pizza Hut or Hoffies right. or Culture Pop Soda. Right. All of these great partners of the radio station were there hoping to, you know, provide pizza and dogs and soda and everything all day long. But the fact is, is that even though the pickleball wasn't played, a massive, massive tailgate party yeah. broke out in the parking lot. And people were partying. Oh, yes. When I immediately pulled up, there was it was definitely very green. Yeah, very, very green. Very green. Right. Chris Ward brings weed for the world. <laughs> yeah, I got, I, mean? a, I got a doggy bag from, from Chris yeah. on Saturday. I have so many doggy bags. I know. I use them all. Yeah. I go through this <laughs> stuff. I use them all. <laughs> I go through this stuff right. really so, fast. So Chris Ward was getting everybody, you know, in the right state of mind. Yes. Oh, yeah. Beto has his truck, and oh. he is parked, and he... I, it's the weirdest thing. It's never like Beto needs, hey, we need to go to the store and get more stuff. Beto has enough to last for hours and hours and hours. Champagne, cervezas, you know, Hugo de Naranja, et cetera, et cetera. You know, this guy is just loaded for a tailgate party. And then if anybody wanted pizza or hot dogs or anything, they were able to go over. It was, even though the pickleball was not played. Yes. Can we all agree? It was a phenomenal time. I completely agree. And uh, by the time we got to the very end and the people that hung in there, uh, the, the, the true P1s, the P1s of all P1s oh, yeah. uh, were there at the very end, and it was very nice. I got a happy birthday, and it was, it was very nice. It was yeah, it was day. awesome. It, it was, was really fun. awesome. And then you know what happened, Mace? I don't mm. know if you know this or not. No. But when uh, everybody, when Chris finally called it and you guys, you know, they said happy birthday to you. Yep. And, and there was those great pictures of you and Ireland, the Hall of Famers. Yeah. Um, Ireland had a suggestion. He said, well, you know, there's an islands right down the road. Why don't we all go there? The islands was not prepared for what was coming. Oh, its really? Way. <laughs> Dude, we showed up and we must have had like 100 people with us. Wow. Whoa. And we they took had to be over. thrilled. Oh, they were stoked. They just, nobody could over. move. But we took this place over, and it was a blast. So, listen, all things told, we turned uh, we turned lemonade from lemons, or however that lemon, yeah. We made lemonade. lemonade out of lemons. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Juego de what? Huh? Juego Naranja. de naranjas, orange juice, right? Oh, right. yeah, yeah. What's, what's lemon? Limones. Limones. See. Yeah. Juego de limones. Uh, all right. So uh, I, I wanted to, by the way, and so many people worked hard on it. So yeah. Janessa was great. Yeah. And yeah. the whole. Awesome. Si and all our partners that were there, right? Yeah. Pizza Hut, uh, Children's Dental Fun Zone. Yeah. There was uh, a bunch of people out yeah, there. Yeah. And, so. uh, and I'm sure they'll be back for the, the Mandy's is the next big event. And yeah. then the softball comes up and then the golf comes up. We're in the, that time of year, which is yeah. always When fun. is the softball? I don't know if we've got a date yet for is, softball. Isn't it the All-Star game, like around the All-Star game for baseball? The, the Friday before the All-Star game. What is the All -Star that date? Game. I have to look it up right now, but it's probably it's usually in July, one of the first. No, I, I know that part of the equation. I'm getting it right now. Have we <laughs> released the date for Mandy's three? <laughs> the, 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 not yet. In not July, yet. the All Star game, really? <laughs> Shocker! Don't, <laughs> don't mind. Just Bergie. know that's when it's going to be. Don't mind Bergy being a little testy. I can't blame him either. Why is that? Why? Well, you know, poor Bergy. Hmm. You know, he's there at the pickleball. I right? would yes. like the date yes. though. If you he's did. got I'm he's got no that. rain jacket. Yep. He's got no umbrella. Okay. It's cold. Yep. It's wet. 
He's taken a beating. I mean, his whole getup was completely soaked. You know, you could just see yeah. he's wearing this gray thing. He and looked the miserable. Shoulders and the chest were. And then it was sad. July and then you 15th. had a bunch of people. What's the date? July fifteenth. Okay. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. Then, then you had a bunch of people. Wait, giving Bergie a hard time. That can't be right. Why not? July sixteenth is a Tuesday, I believe. It's yeah, the All Star game. The All Star game. Tuesday. So that means no, the when's Friday our pickleball before. Is oh. a, I mean, not pickleball. The softball. The Friday, Friday before. Dial it back three days. Yeah. yeah. So what's the, the date 12th. then, Bergie? Twelfth. Oh, the twelfth. Okay. 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 So you're you're saying something about me being cold? Well, so so poor Bergie mm -hmm. is like you know he's getting rained on. Yep. You know, and and then he's got people texting him and calling him. When is this thing going to be called? What's the deal? What are you doing? <laughs> like like as if Bergie could like have a, a direct line to Mother Nature. He is the manager of audio operations. Yeah, that's right. part of the deal. Not yeah. manager of weather operations. The buck stops there. Yeah, Not but the you're wow. you, you got to somebody's got to make the call. <laughs> you know, it's like an election night. Somebody's got to make the yeah, call. Yeah. You know, finally did happen. By the way, it cleared up right after. Two. Oh, oh I know. As <laughs> we were leaving. It right. right there. As we were yeah, leaving. Crazy. Right. Yeah. Um, now, why did we have to leave at that point? It's just it was so late. It was already one o'clock and just that was it. Well, I think we didn't a have lot, the park. Until... I think a lot of the players probably said, you know, well, right. That's probably right. true. Hanging around. Yeah. yeah. Chris Morales with a squeegee is not going to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, here he here comes! He comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Coming at me with the frisbee! Wow. So, uh, did you guys all? You heard Shohei? I did. You, you, now that was my uh, my theory all along. Yeah. Guy stole money, used it to pay off gambling debts. He didn't know about it. Look, uh, that's I, essentially I, what he I said. Am, I am closer to your side now. I still have questions. Sure. Right? Like, how did he get access to your accounts? Is he also, like, your personal assistant? Right. Like, what, what other, how other ways was he being employed by you that he had access to these accounts? I still have those questions, and I think those are reasonable questions. But, you, DeMarco, you played professional sports. I'm sure there are plenty of guys you played with who, there were people who had access to their finances. Oh, God, he's not the first athlete to be robbed. Right. Yeah, I mean, look, you, you trust the wrong people and they steal from you. It happens. It happened to him. The, the difference between normal athletes and him, he's got 700 million bucks. Right, he makes he's not 60 million miss. just on endorsements. I told him Baker Mayfield got robbed by his own family. Right. It happens. Yeah. You trust the wrong people, and this is the stuff that happens. Cappy, you going along with this? Nope. No. Yeah, Cappy, good, Cappy good, Morales, and Lindsay are in the cynical camp. They all think well, the worst. I'm always cynical. And my I... friend Willie. My friend Willie has been texting me in my group chat for since this happened, and he's been consp you know conspiracy Willie. Right? He's just going up. Conspiracy Willie. Yeah, That's he's what they all, call him. He's all uh, he's all That's in my group name. chat, and he's got everybody but one person riled up saying that this is absolutely true. They're tweeting me. They're they're sending me the 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 Pete Rose thing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, where he's saying, yeah, I yeah. wish I had interpreted, which Morales is all in on. Oh, wow. sure. Morales and Conspiracy Willie. Oh, they're like yeah. the same person. Yeah, they are. They are. They're <laughs> yeah. always going to take the cynical side. Why are you so cynical, Cappy? Well, I mean, for me, I just go back to the reporting. So you guys don't believe ESPN's reporting on the story? I do. I don't think he said anything that was contrary to it. Okay, well, go back and he read the article. He actually supported ESPN's reporting. Okay. Go, go back and read the article from Tisha Thompson yep. where she goes through the timeline of what happened. And that timeline makes me suspicious. Now, here's the thing. I'm not, I, I don't know who did what at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Otani sat there with his guy and he made the uh, transfers because his guy was in big trouble. And Otani's like, hey, I'm your best friend and I'm not happy with you, but I will help you get out of this mess. I don't know if that's what happened. But I just know that there were too many stories at the beginning. There are too many crisis managers that are involved. And so I'm just skeptical. I'm so where's the – I'm trying to figure out where the wiggle room is. Um, Shohei says Ipe stole the money and used it to pay gambling debts. Right, which now makes Ipe, sense. Ipe says I stole the money and used it to pay gambling debts. Yeah, where, where exactly where's is the, the wiggle room? Yeah. Where's the conspiracy? <laughs> well, and it all now makes sense when the, um, the, the subject line of the wire said loan – because if you're Ipe, of course you would write that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why wouldn't you write that? It would, because it's not your account. It's not, it's not your money. Of course you right. write loan right. in the subject line. And here's the other part, Mace, is that now you look at the interpreter and, you know, now there are um, there are people that are questioning his resume. They're oh, saying, his resume is made up. Right. right. Well, they're, he they're didn't saying, go to UC Riverside. No. He never worked for the Red Sox. Right. right. Wow. Never worked for the Yankees. Yeah. So he's that, like Anna Delvey from Inventing Anna. Wow. Right. Yeah. 
I don't know, get that reference, but I he's was like George saying, O'Leary uh, and Notre Dame. George O'Leary, oh, George O'Leary right. and Notre Dame. That's okay. a probably right. the best yeah. reference. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think yeah. George O'Leary is a million years ago, but uh, well, yeah, but, who, but it's who, sports. Who, what did sports, you say? Yeah. Uh, Anna Delvey from uh, Inventing Anna. Bergman just watched that show. The one about the scam artist in yeah. New York. You saw it, right? Yeah, I haven't seen the Julie whole thing. Julie I, yeah, I know the They're Jimmy the same Charger. person. Yeah, they're the same person. Ipe and Anna Delvey. Wow. You're Anna so Delvey. Yeah. There you go. My favorite Anna part Ipe. of the story, though, is that Dodger fans, Anna Ipe. <laughs> Dodger do, fans. do not want this to continue. They oh. don't want to even hear about it Dodger anymore. Dodger fans could care less. They yeah. want a World Series. Yeah, I may call my friend Conspiracy Willie on, oh, on Conspiracy the show. Oh, Conspiracy Willie, get him on. I may get him on the show. Yeah, Captain. get him on, George. Yeah. I'd love to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I you know, look, I I think this thing is now going to officially quiet down. I mean, I think that was sort of well. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say for a while until the feds tell us what happened. Yeah, the feds Where's will tell us, go. and right. and the oh, here it comes. Here's and they're going to be conspiracy Christopher charges against Ipe that uh, Shohei says will be filed right uh, for stealing money. And here's Morales. He's going to talk about oh, it's all made up. Go no, ahead. it's just somehow you, it's Dave Roberts' fault. Bit, Dave no, Roberts did it. Face. You just are a worthless. Dodgers apologize space. This what, is just yeah, who you are. What are we Dodgers apologize? This isn't about you. We got to do a show together. Tonight. What am I apologizing oh my God. for? It's just you just believe it. You lick it up. Oh, Wait a Shohei, you're so right. We want to believe it's all going to be okay. Shohei says the money was stolen by Ipe. And he says I stole the money. Okay. So where's the, people where's never the disconnect? Lie. People never lie. They're, lying. They have the same lie. So my conspiracy they, Willie believes that. Basically, well, he's he's doing he's he's going down. What was uh Barry Bonds' guy at Balco? Guy. Balco, uh, yeah. Victor Conte. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. Tim, Tim Anderson. Anderson. Tim, Tim Anderson. Anderson. Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson. He thinks that Ipe my, conspiracy Willie he's believes that that Ipe is Greg Anderson. I believe that it could be. But he's taking he, the fall. I mean, he's going to take the heat, but I think he did it. I, yeah, I, I believe just, Shohei. When yeah. I get down to it and I say, all right, Shohei says Ipe stole the money and paid gambling debts. And Ipe says, I stole the money and paid gambling debts. Yeah. I don't know where the. But wait, do you think when you have is. five days to get your story right, you can? Like, on since they screwed it up out of the gate and there were multiple versions of a story. Wait, after he five ex- days. He explained the multiple after versions. After five days, you don't think they could get on if the same page? If you listen carefully, right. he explained but exactly on, why it went down days, the way it did. Could you get on the same page? Yes right. or no? But here, yes, here it also, the, also, the original story was done with Ipe. Right. So, of course, that version of the story is going to get out right. first. It's Ipe's story. Right. He decided, wasn't to, done with he decided money. to talk and to someone for two hours. And then, as he hours. said, after he told the story, they went back to the hotel room and, and, Ipe's, and figured out the story. And Ipe said, no, that's <laughs> not, you stole that money. <laughs> Mace, would you feel this You're way amazing. about Otani if he played for the Angels? Yeah. No, we wouldn't even be talking about it. <laughs> no, we'd absolutely <laughs> be talking about it. Would. But he'd be guilty. Yeah. But he'd. No, he would not be guilty. You would be crucifying him. If he was, no. if he played for no. the Yankees. No. If he played for the Angels, I wouldn't. How no. about the Yankees? If There's he played no reason for the Yankees. to. I wouldn't. So you would just be like, hey, he's it's the, over. Look, we I love baseball. He's the over. biggest star in the game. I don't want anything to happen to him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, how great would it be when he wins the MVP and like the World Series MVP? Oh, well, yeah. well, he it's might win great. the World and the MVP. He's not winning the World Series MVP. Right. That would require them to win the World Series. <laughs> it's happening. Get to the World Series. It's happening. Uh-huh. This is the year. Uh-huh. I mean, listen, it, you know, if there's one sport where spending the most money doesn't guarantee you anything, it's this sport. It's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. You don't know once you get to October. I didn't realize. I saw it on video earlier. I didn't realize how fabulous Sedano's jacket is. Oh, it's it's a it's, it's a, a sweater, it's a cardigan sweater. Yeah, cardigan. It's wonderful. I, no, I get mocked when I wear a cardigan. You don't look Why? like George Sedano. He's got the that's skin. A, I, that's true. I'm, I'm mocked when I wear a tur- uh, cardigan. And I don't you, mock you. I tell you how much I like it. He's, he's, he's got a Shannon day of Sharp growth. He's got a little, a little scruff. A little scruff going on. Yeah. good. Your scruff is gone. I, I yeah, shave you, it off you, once a week. You, yeah, but you should do it all the time. No, just I get, shave, the, get the electric and just it'll keep the scruff. I get it clean do the once secret. a week. I, every secret, Monday it's going to be clean. By the end of the week, I'll have scruff. Nah, go scruff all the time. Screw you. Go scruffy, baby. Scruffy. All right. They tell me that on Thursday for the live remote, I should drink. At Clemens Galley. You, oh, you're doing one this year again? Yeah. No, no. With what? Cappy? For opening no, day, no. 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 Cappy's not there. Me you and drink DeMarco. drink to excess. You get what hammered. I said is, yeah. you will not be berated and written up if you drink. Yes. Written up? Yeah, oh, he was written up yeah. last time. You were written up? Yeah. Was I? Yes and no. Yeah, it probably it was more, in a, like an more emer- no than yes. It was in an emergency file if ever needed. Like, uh, yeah. oh, right. They had something wow. on you. It's a file they would pull the out if they had to ice me. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Exactly. It's but you like not- when you wouldn't tell Ireland that he was getting fired. Exactly. <laughs> Same thing. In fact, if you do it and you do it well, you'll get a good job email from me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, like this well, morning for the good job email? I That was a good. That was a nice good job email. Oh, you'll get another one. Good job. You'll get another one. You know, I, affirmation is like oxygen for me. Well, so. luckily we've got affirmations coming up in about 30 minutes. Excellent. Uh, all right. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Cappy's Affirmations. Yeah. I love that. I know you do. I love that bit. Yeah. I listen to Affirmations all night long. I need Affirmations. Yeah. Cappy, do you need them? Yeah, do these are good the, ones today. These are good. Yeah. Do you use the, what's that, um, what's the app LeBron promotes? Calm. Calm. Yeah, you yeah use he calm uses app? Calm. I, I don't use, Calm app is quiet. It's just like, it's just calm noise. You can listen to like the river. Correct. The ocean right. waves. The rain. That kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, like I'm done. Saturday at Pickleball. Where, where are you going? You got bonus time there. <laughs> DeMarco, fantastic working with fun. you. Isn't he great? Always fun. And I will Always. see you on Thursday at Clearman's Galley. DeMarco be a and blast. Heater. We'll get hammered. Tomorrow, short show with me, Bergman, and uh, Morales. Well, it's a live image Tuesday. So live I'll be in Tuesday. But it's really you and Bergman. Oh, it's wow. me and Bergman. That's wow. big. Bergman stepping up to the plate. Can I just say, am I the only person that thinks Bergman's really good on the air? DeMarco. No, no, everybody I, thinks I, Bergman's I think good so. on the air. Yeah. John does it. Some of the other Ireland, stuff we Ireland, worry John about. John does it. Ireland yeah. does <laughs> Ireland it's, it's just the other stuff blast. that we're like kind of eh, yeah, exactly. on. The air yeah. stuff, he's fine. The management well, stuff, you question. He didn't, get, but. he didn't get the rain to stop the other day. I, that's, that's his true, fault. That's true. Yeah. All right. Uh, see you tomorrow at one. <laughs>